glasses on. I'm trying to look cute. I'm trying to look cute. <laughs> okay. Oh, Nedjet. Hi. 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 So, Nedjet is here. Mighty Strong is here. Yes. Yes. We are going to enjoy this. Kimberly here. Hi, Kimberly. Michelle. Hi. Yes. How's the siage tonight? Hi, Patricia. Yvonne, oh my dear, Yvonne, you early tonight, girl. You early. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Winter Michelle. Hi, Winter. Hi, Erica. <laughs> there is on RV time. <laughs> hey, Cassandra. Hi, everybody. Oh, hi, Wendy. Hi. Oh my gosh, guys. I am so excited. Yay. Finally. My collection is culminated, even though I got something in the middle today. But we ain't talking about that. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Yay! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited tonight. I have, I don't know if we can do all of this in one night, to be honest with you. <laughs> I really don't know. Oh, hi, Rhonda. I see you. Hi. Oh my gosh. Hi, Pat. I was just thinking about you today. For real, for real. I was like, I wonder if she okay. Let me reach out to her. And then I got carried away doing something else in the office. And then I lost connectivity. So I'm glad to see you. Oh my gosh. Yes. Hey, Jen. Hi. Good evening. Oh my goodness. This is so exciting. Yes. I don't know. I'm excited about it because, you know. <laughs> This here is, I think, uh, the, the largest. Yes, this is the largest collection I have that I have um, almost everything that I want. Not not almost everything that I want from the collection. So, oh my goodness. So let's see. We have 13 of us in here. We'll wait just for just a few minutes. I'm thinking I might have to do two because if we talk about notes at all, and y'all know I like to, I just go off on a tangent. But if we talk about notes at all, it's going to take us a little longer to do. And I have the men's fragrance as well. I have the sample set of the men's fragrance right here. And then I have um, both of Joseph's fragrance that I purchased him. I feel like I'm missing one, but probably am not. And um, then I have all of the, um, well, I have the two limited edition one, which is the Wonder Woman and the um, Disney. And then I have the rest of them. And then I have sets as well. So you guys get to see up close what the, um, I only have three of the, uh, how you call them? The, the little, the atomizers, you know, the case. I only have three of those. I was going to collect all of them, but I'm like, mm, no, I'm not going to do that. I would prefer put the money into um a bigger bottle because it, you know, mm. <laughs> and then I have both the sets and then I have three trends. The rest of the trends I dispersed up, so I no longer have those. So guys, I am so excited. Let's see who else came up in here. Dion. Hi, Dion. Good evening. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is exciting, y'all. This is truly, truly, truly exciting. So while we're waiting to see if anybody else shows up, what I'm going to say is my introduction. So guys, I am so excited. And when I'm excited, my accent comes out full blown, full throttle, bang, bang, bang. You know, I want to... <laughs> my accent coming out, okay? So just bear with me. You know, I have to reel, reel it back. And then my, my rate of speech, you know, my inflection goes up. My rate of speech goes really fast. And so it's almost like if you're from the South, if you're from the South, you're from the Caribbean, you'll catch up. But uh, everybody else is going, what did she just say? <laughs> so guys, I'm so excited. I'm truly excited. Let's see if anybody else come up in the house. No one else came up. So we have 16 people in the house tonight. Guys, most of you know me already. I am Pam. This is for those of you that don't know me. I may be watching in the replay. I am Pam. And this is the Pam Pam. Yes. Over here, what we like to do is talk about beauty related products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like to talk about bougie stuff. We like bougie fragrances and bougie makeup and a bougie lifestyle on a budget. Yeah, that's what we like over here. Okay. So at the at the end of the day, we just don't like paying full price for anything. Even if we get like 10% discount, we'll take it. <laughs> we, we prefer 50. We prefer 50, but we'll take 10. So guys, y'all heard what I said. Welcome to the Pam Fam. That means that you have to come on in. Yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. I promise I won't hurt. So hug me back, okay? And bring it in. And we're hugging because that's what family do. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Ooh, that actually feels good. We haven't done that in a little bit, in a few days. Okay. So, guys. Ooh. Let's see. Yes, everyone is here. So, we got our hugs in. And, guys, tonight, you all know by the title, we are doing House of Sillage. Yesterday, um, I did my niche fragrances, and this was the last bit. And I kind of rushed through that because a lot of people had those fragrances anyways. But, oh, my God. So, I brought the men's, what I have in my men's collection, and then I brought the samples. So, technically, I have almost all of them. This is the signature line for the men's. And we're going to start with these because it's easier. Okay. All right. Oh, I got my hugs back. Yes. Hug time. <laughs> you know, um, what's this dance? Is it the body? The body. Uh, yeah. 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 I'll be watching all of that stuff on, 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 yeah. When I can't sleep. <laughs> okay, guys. So this is what the men's sample collection looks like. This is actually only $25. And, um, it's actually, they smell really, really good, to be honest with you. For the most part, I think that they smell really good. So it has, in here, it has Dignified as number one. Let me put on my spectacles real quick. I think it's Dignified as number, is the first one that they have. Yes, Dignified, which actually Dignified, I have that here. Oopsie, I fell on the ground. So this is what the casing for Dignified looks like. It has that nice, this is me right here. I kind of dug it, right? And then this is what the, the all of the boxes for the men's fragrances, this is what they look like. It may have different prints on it. You have the limited edition Aeronauts, which I also have here. You have um the black and white version. I can't remember the name, but it was actually Passion de Lemoyne, that fragrance. And I went, I meant to buy that, but I missed out on that. So, you know, Crimea River, that's the one that has a Harlequin, Harlequin pattern on it. But um, the, the designer, I think his name is Christopher or something. But anyways, this is what it looks like, okay? Now, ooh, did I miss anyone? Nope, 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 nope. Yes, it's all black, all black. Yes, all black. And it is very sexy looking. So this is the presentation. It comes out like that. And you're going to get some glare on it because that is actually extremely shiny. The bottle is really shiny, okay? Okay. And then when you take it out, there we go. When you take it out, let me try it this way. When you take it out, you have your wrap, the cloth in the back, okay? And so this is the one I was telling D'Angelo when I was talking the other night that I was making a sample for, I want to say, I was making a sample for a friend and um, it started leaking oh right under here and i think it's the mechanism that caused that not sure but what i really love about these bottles guys it's like a hold on see that and you close it back that way so you press this button right here and it opens up and then you spray right mm, smells yummy yummy smells really good right you spray it and then you close it back so I was making a sample and I had the bottle like this and I think, no, no, that's not true because I was actually, I switched it out and I did like this and I was having issues. So, and see, nobody else came in here. So this is the House of Siage Dignified. So that actually comes in the sample set. So if you're a man, you're a girl, it doesn't matter. You know, we all wear all sorts of fragrance up in here, right? We don't really assign a fragrance. Some things do lean a lot more masculine in this collection, but... It's nothing that you can't temper with another fragrance. Okay, you can you can layer the female version fragrance, female version, right? So I will put this back in here before I drop this. All right, so that's the dignified, and that's the first one in the um in the set. Now, the dignified. Oh, the notes. I'm going to be fast because a lot of people don't really talk about the men's version of it, except men talk about it. And a lot of us wear men's fragrances or what's, you know, targeted or marketed towards men. But this is the Dignified is a warm, spicy, oud, aromatic, right? Woody, 
earthy, leathery, tobacco-y. Tobac I don't think that's a, you know the correct pronunciation, tobacco-y, but you know, I made that up. So what this, and you can smell it, guys. As soon as you pull it out, you can smell it. Mm. So the flower, ooh, that I didn't know. I just learned every time, every single time I look at the, the write-ups for the House of CR fragrances, I learn something new. So what I didn't realize is that the tag is made of platinum. Yup. Tag is made of platinum, decorates the front, and it's embellished with four lines of rare black five-card cabochon diamonds. Holy macaroni. Wow. The falcon frame is made of white gold, hand decorated with over 300 onyx. That's what's giving it its look. Oh, shucks. This is onyx. Holy macaroni. Holy macaroni. This is actual onyx. That's why they're charging so much for this stuff. Also hand processed. Each onyx piece is precisely cut and processed. The tag is made of platinum, decorates the front part, and is embellished with four lines of rare black five carat cabochon diamonds. Dignified edition privé carries. Oh, that's, wow. Child, I didn't know all of that. My bad. <laughs> I really didn't know. <laughs> it wasn't a cupcake. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so now I will stop handling it so roughly and take my time. Somebody told me jewelry is not to be handled roughly. That's why it's, you know, like when we went in Paris, you know how the Queen's diamonds and stuff was like, in, you know, it's encased and everything and the crown and all of that kind of stuff. So yes, now I know. And knowing is half the battle. <laughs> okay, so let's get back to dignified. So it's tobacco, it's earthy, it's got beautiful scents in it, nice and incensey, in my opinion. All the components that makes it nice and incensey and warm. I actually like this fragrance. I did try it on. I tried it on when it first came in the mail. I tried uh no, I sprayed that because I didn't we didn't have this yet. And I sprayed it on my hand and I went to bed. And it smells good on the skin initially. First burst when it comes out on your skin, it smells really good. As it settles in, dignified gets a lot more stronger. It doesn't settle in and wait away. It settles in and boof, you know, it starts, it, it's a heavy hitter. Okay. Oops. I see people in here. I see people. Oh, Hallister. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. So the stats and I agreed to wear the same fragrance today. Yes. And so we wore Whispers of Enlightenment today. <laughs> we were fragrance twins. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. You are so kind, my dear. Yes. Let's see here. What's going on? Oh, my God. Wow. It needs to go viral. What needs to go viral? Hold up. Hold up. Put my eyes. Hold on. Let me put my eyes on. I'm glad you love it, Pam. When do oh, yes. Yes. So I have a video up, right? And that bad boy only got 63 people. So y'all need to share my video so Winter can go, you know. <laughs> I, I already told her, I manifest great things for that buddy butter. The oil's to come. Yay. <laughs> and then the body splash. <laughs> I'm manifesting it. And so therefore it will happen. Yes, it needs to go viral. Can we melt it down? <laughs> Dion, you know what? I don't think so. I don't think so. But I think my outfit goes really nice. Hold up. Let me take the writing off. Look at that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You know, your girl looks a little, you know. I love, I like workout gear. I think that if when you have a pretty workout gear, you work out harder and you look cuter. So you tend to want to go to the gym. <laughs> I didn't go to the gym though. <laughs> I work out outside or inside a room. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's see. Can we melt that down? Dion is so funny. Yes, she is. Let's see here. Hey, Maya. Hey, Maya. Yes. Oh, you have a sample of um, Dignified, Pat? Okay. And Whispers of Enlightenment, yes, it is. So Jay did a video on those. He had done a video on the um the sample kits. And so, yep, and now he's got to buy some. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. That buddy. Yes. Oh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. You were in Coco Mac. Oh, yes. Yes. You know what? No, no, no. I don't want to do that. I only wipe off a little bit on my uh, uh, skin, but I, I, I bathe in with Spur of Enlightenment today. It's, it's so uplifting. It's, it's a very cheery, in my opinion, a cheery fragrance. Scent of the day, passion de la Ooh, we got a lot of houses. See our scents up in here today. Yes, 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 yes. So Yvonne, Winter Michelle has an Instagram. Uh, she's an Instagram page. She's on Instagram. So just message her on Instagram. Okay. It's winter. And then the Michelle is not spelled like regular. Michelle is spelled with an E. Winter. M M E C H E L L E. Yeah, there's two L. Two else. And that's that's her um her handle on Instagram. And what you do is you just go and message her and she'll put you on the wait list. My friend has a wait list. My friend Bougie. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, you received yours in a minute. I just got mine today. I haven't even opened it. I want to do an opening video. Yes, 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 yes. I I'm, I'm so excited. You're welcome, Yvonne. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. So even if the if if the if the other one, if the one we like, which is the one with the rum in it, right? If the bourbon, not the rum, but bourbon. If the bourbon vanilla is too strong for you, you know my address. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. I liked upon coming in the room. Yes. Oh, yes, guys. Don't forget to like, please. Please don't forget to like. And after the video is up, please, you know, comment. Please, please, please comment on the video. Trying to get to the front of YouTube's page. This YouTube algorithm has got me all sorts of twisted. So we talked about Dignified Enough. So after Dignified, you move on to, it's called HOS number N01, right? This one is a beautiful, it's sort of fruity, it's lighter, it's right up my speed, right up my speed, right up my alley. Kind of like, remember I told y'all how I like the Chanel Allure, the male version, um, the cologne? Um, that's what this reminds me of. Not the same scent story, not the same scent story at all. But, um, how's the Siage number one? It is a gorgeous burgundy bottle. It's got, it looks like um, a Game of Thrones, the two lions with wings on it, which is a little weird, right? But you know, what am I gonna say about that? But guys, this is the number one, it's warm, spicy, similar to Dignified. That's why I think I like Dignified because it's warm, spicy. Vanilla, amber, cinnamon, woody, sweet, powdery, and aromatic. Guys, when I tell you this thing smells good, 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 I'm not lying. Okay, I'm not lying at all. I'm trying not to spray these because I want to send these to my friend for him to smell them. I think he already has this one though. Yeah, I think he has this one so I can spray this. Where's the hole? Where's my magnifying glass? That's okay. I spray. Ooh, yes, I do like this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do like this one. Again, heavy on the oils with these, okay? I'm talking about about 25 30% oil. Oh my gosh, this is you could smell the amber and the cinnamon right off the top. Right off the top. So the top notes. Oh yes. Cinnamon, amber, agarwood, oud, which is oud. Middle notes are tonka bean. This would smell so good with bourbon vanilla. Mmm. Cloves and ginger. Base notes of vanilla, mahogany and cedar. Yes, if you like this kind of scent on your guy, I would recommend you getting number one. And a lot of times number one is on sale 50% off on, um, on House of Siage, okay? Hey, hey, hey. Hi, my dear. Hi. Let's see. Would have guessed nothing less at that. Oh. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so pretty. So, so pretty. Oh, yes. Hi, Nadia. No problem. We just started. The only thing I went through, um, we just literally started. I'm starting with the men's fragrances because I have the least amount of those. And this is Dignified by House of Siage. This here, right? Look at the box, guys. You see that nick right down there somewhere? That's Pam's nails that did that, her raggedy nails. And so the presentation for this is really nice. It opens up, as you can see, 
beautiful. It's got a platinum cover on the box. We just found it tonight by reading the instructions because uh, I didn't read the instructions before um, because it wasn't a cupcake. So this here is actual onyx. This is platinum, uh, white gold. And this here, the label is platinum. And when you touch it, it is not a sticker. It is actually engraved. If you think about it, um, old school pens, you know, the, the ones that you put in the nib and you draw the ink out and stuff like that. And I have some Monet pens that I purchased. I think it's Monet. Was it Van Gogh? No, I have Van Gogh pens that I purchased from the jewelry store here a couple of years ago. Um, and those, it's the way it, it's it's made and the way, it's, I, I don't know how to say, it's engraved, but you can barely feel the engraved. It's kind of very smooth, like the buff jewelry. That's what it feels like. And so when you take these out, all the men's fragrances, oh, oh, I lost this cloth. All the men's fragrances, please do not mind the fingerprints. This is what this looks like. So this is Onyx White Gold Platinum, Okay. And right here is the opening. You press on that, bring it up a little closer, and it opens. Okay? Do that one more time. Press on it, and it opens. All right? So this is like literally jewelry. I am going to, I'm going on a campaign. Y'all need to go on that campaign with me. House of Siage needs to do refill in the station. Because the extent that they make these bottles and all of that, it's jewelry. It literally is gorgeous. They really need to, they really need to have a refilling station. So that you don't, if you, once this is done, you want to be able to refill it as opposed to buying a new bottle, right? So all the bottles, this is the little sample kit that comes for the men. So we, that's dignified as number one. Then you have, um, dignified is the first one. Then you have number one, which is a fruity, warm, spicy, ambery. It's beautiful and it settles into your skin and it doesn't smell, it doesn't lean too masculine to me. It doesn't lean too masculine, it doesn't lean too feminine. I think number one would be a good layering fragrance to boost up or make stronger Passion de l'Amour. Not that Passion de l'Amour needs any help, but you can also use number one with Emerald Rain and you can use number one with Noé Moi and you can also use number one with um the one that I like, which is Benevolence because of the oody type of spiciness to it. Okay, so let's move on. So the next one is number two. Yep, number two. I am so stoked about that. I just figured out. I didn't even, hold on guys. I didn't even, let's see the buckle and this is gold too. Smoky, spicy, smoky fragrance, blah, 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 blah. Mahogany, tonk. Oh yes, mahogany, tonk with cedar wood. Number one, I am going to buy number one for myself. Yeah, Pam, think, I think, I think D'Angelo has number one. I think he has number one. Yeah, this is really, really nice. And that was also launched in 2016. So number two, House of Siage number two. House of Siage number two is a little different. And the flacon is a sort of a grayish, think about um back in the early, two thousand, like 2012 and stuff, that dark sort of brownish taupey lipstick everybody was wearing. Remember that? color. That's what the bottle sort of looks like to me as I'm looking at it right now. So and this is aromatic, citrus, woody, and fresh spicy. So this is a little on the lighter side, but it's still nice. Yeah, this is more lighter, fruitier, sweeter, like that. Yep, yeah, top notes. Yep, I see it. Top notes of grapefruit, mandarin, and oh, mandarin orange. Yeah, this is nice too. Middle notes of juniper berries, driftwood, Galanga, Betiva, and Egyptian, Egyptian Jasmine. And then the base notes are cedar musk and white amber. Guys, number two is also very nice for the guy that likes more of a fresh scent. But I think that Joseph prefers the um, Robert Graham Courage, I think it is, which is a little more aquatic. It leans more aquatic. But this, this also has like that aquatic green... You know, think about a nice fresh fur tree or something and you swipe your hand on the leaves like, you know, those are the, like a Christmas tree kind of. And you, you can see the picture and you swipe it this way. It has that green, green uh, sensibility about the fragrance. Let's see. Anyone else jumped in? Oh, you said nice box. Okay. Yes. Yes. The box is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Ah! Hi, Pam. Okay. This is Pam number. This is, this is another Pam. <laughs> this is one of my friends, guys. Say hi to her. Hi, Pam. Oh my gosh, this is so hi, sissy. Oh, 
I miss you. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. Anybody else jumped in while I wasn't looking? Oh, hi, Bridget. I'm so excited to see you guys. Oh, my gosh. Hey, D'Angelo. Yeah. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Guess what? I was just talking about you, though. Mm -hmm. I sure was. I sure was. I sure was because I think you have number one, right? Here is Dignified. We're going through the men's fragrance. So technically the show has started, right? Yes. Yeah, so let's see. Yes. So we did Dignified. We did number one. And now I just did number two, which is green, spicy, a little, it's not aquatic. It's more um, like green, fresh green citrusy like that not not so much aquatic like blue aquatic like you know how you call it um those i don't know just aquatic i guess watery scents and then number three so the set comes with five one two three four five yes five it comes with dignified and then one two three and four so house of siage number three zero zero three that one is more aquatic the bottle is blue to represent that this has a lot more notes in it this is much more complex than number two. So this is aromatic, marine, oud, herbal, woody, salty, spicy, soft, ooh, soft, spicy, amber, aquatic, and warm, spicy. So it's both marine and aquatic. Hmm, interesting. So this one was launched again. In tw I think all of them were launched in uh, 2016. This was inspired by a new beginning. I'm thinking that, you know, probably a rebirth of some sort, maybe with the company. I'm not certain. I don't want to make things up for them. Launched in 2016, top notes are C notes and sage, base notes are ambergris and argawood, which I believe that's a sort of oud, but I don't, yes, that's what it is, oud. Algawood, as a, not agarwood, but algawood. So this one is okay. I did smell this one and it's not for me. I think a guy, however, that likes aquatic scents, clean, fresh, out the shower, a little bit of saltiness to it. That's what you're going to get with number three. And then the last one from the men's collection that I have, I do not have the new men's collection. This is from the signature men collection. It's House of Siage number four. Number four, number four. I don't see it on here. Zero, zero, four. There we go. And that one, it literally has number four on it. And all of them have the numbers, to be quite honest with you. It's just done differently. So number three has like an aeronautic, you know, like if you've ever been on a sailboat, um, you know, that uh, compass. Yeah, like that. So this one here, the fresh, it's fresh, spicy. It's citrus, lavender. Ooh. Hold up now. I see some scents I like. Lavender. Ooh. Okay. Lavender, citrus, anise, aromatic, soft, spicy, mossy. Er I like mossy. I don't know why. I just like it. I'm a weird like that, right? Uti, floral, and warm, spicy. This one got a 4.26 out of 5. So this is a favorite of a lot of people. It's a, it's considered a chipra. I think that's how you pronounce that. Chipra? 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 Oh, chipra something like that. So this one was launched in number 20 in 2017. So this is one of the, this is the latest launch besides um, the one that was a limited edition that was Passion de l'Amour. So this one is top notes, lavender, Italian tangerine, Calabrian. So this is also fruity or citrusy and a little bit of oud to it. No spiciness to it. The middle notes of pepper, star anise. Those are spicy and then orange blossom. And then the base notes are oak moss, vanilla, and patchouli. So this is going to lead a little bit heavier, I think. I'm looking for the hole to make sure I don't waste it. And what I like about these little things is you don't you don't have to spray spray. You just spray just a tad bit, like literally just a tad bit goes a long way with these fragrances. I cannot speak to the longevity of these, but I do know that Joseph did like it. You see that? Look, I just put like one drop. I didn't even spray it. I did like this and one drop fell on my hand. This is, ah, uh, Shipra. Okay, thank you, Shipra. There we go. That's how you said. Oh, wow. Scent of the day's Cherry Garden. All right. I'm loving this. I am so loving this. You you work with a lady named Pamela Harris. That might be the same. Where are you located, Jen? <laughs> mm. 
Mm. Yep, this is really nice. So my favorites from the men's collection, if I were to buy men's fragrances for myself or for Joseph, right? Dignified, we already got that. I would go with number one. And I would go with number four. Those are the two top dogs because number four is giving me Chanel vibes. It really is. It's giving me Chanel vibes with a little bit more spiciness to it. That's what I'm getting. So that's the set. Let me get the cover that fell down. So I can <laughs> off, off. Arthur, keep on. I'll put you out. So this is what, these are what they come in. So even the women's version, the um the samples they all come like this and then you pull the drawer out like that i like stuff like this because i i reuse stuff okay so i'll take the foam out and then put stuff in it and then put it in the majority you know that kind of stuff so that's that so let's move on those are the men's fragrances right oh no wait a minute now pam almost forgot this one here is aeronauts and this is a limited edition this is no i don't think this is made anymore in fact i know it's not made anymore and of course, look at that, look at that, look at her, well, him, they, okay? She's cute, 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 cute. I love this fragrance. I do. I remember, I think, I don't, I think I love it more than number one for the men. I think I do. So let me pull it up real quick. Aeronauts. And it's called the Aeronauts. Now, this is of like, like a world traveler. They had like the air balloon. That was the, let me see. I think it's on. Yeah, it's on here. So if I come back this way, you can see it's actually an air balloon. They had the lipstick case. They had um like a, a whole set, I think, also with the little travel spray. They had all of that. So I, did I miss anyone? Hey, Joanne. Hi, my love. Hi, hi. Yes. Let's see here. Everybody's saying hi. Moogler, Amen. Ooh, I have never smelled that one. Is that chocolatey? Oh, okay. It's not the same, Pam. Is it chocolatey, D'Angelo? So, right? Guys, packaging is everything. It's the experience, right? Some people like Chanel. They open up the tissue paper and it says Chanel on it and stuff. And you can't use it no more. Well, actually, you would use it to rewrap re stuff, right? Yeah. But at the end of the day, I want something I could reuse. And I always find uses for boxes when they're pretty. And all of them comes with, an, I want to say, authentication card, right? It has them with the card, and then it comes with the white cloth so that you don't get your grubby fingers on it. Now, because if you see the box, it's the dark red. This, my dears, as you can see in the, you see that? It's a beautiful red, beautiful red. It's not too deep. You can see through the bottle. It's quite sexy rather, okay? So I'll give you the story behind this one. The Aeronauts was launched in 2020, which was last year, of course. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, so this is a dynamically fresh fragrance inspires one to undertake risky, yet very exciting exploration. And that's where it's going on. You know, when you get in a air balloon, a hot air balloon, how it basically, you know, you go where the wind take you. You could think you're driving it, but you go where the wind take you. Okay. And so it's basically like an adventurous fragrance. This boasts on the top notes, quince or quince. I say quince because I'm thinking Spanish, lemon, melon, and lavender. The middle notes are spruce, geranium, melon, and ambrette, musk, mallow. The base notes are Spanish, labdomen, guayac, wood, Haitian vetiver and patchouli. So you know you're going to get some, you're going to get lightness, sweetness, fruitiness from it. You're also going to get some ambery smells to it. You're also going to get the warmth and the comfort of lavender. You're also going to get yourself some earthiness to it. And that's because of that labdomum, lab, I can't pronounce that. So again, the bottle, you move this over here. Hold on one second, guy. I forgot to put this on mute. Okay. So again, you press the button right here. And it opens up. I love that. I really do. I don't, I, I like to hear clicks and stuff. I like it. Okay. This is so pretty. It's very pretty. Now you close it back this way and then you open that way. That's the spring, spring loaded opener. Okay. I'm going to spray this on some tissue. Yep. She's pretty. She is, but she is. Now I remember why I didn't steal this completely. 
Not that he'd notice, really. Nah, he'd notice. <laughs> yep. This one is a little heavy for me to wear. It's a little heavy for me to wear. So, like, right now, I'm like, woo! Okay? So, I like it, but I still prefer number one and number four. Those are my two favorites uh, from the men's collection. And he likes this, too. He loves the bottle. He did say that he likes this. And I think it's because it doesn't smell too, you know, sometimes with men, if the, if the fragrance is too sweet and stuff like that, and they're not used to carrying off those fragrances, they kind of, you know, it's, it's, you got to be comfortable when you're carrying fragrances or you're wearing fragrances that you normally wouldn't wear or notes you normally wouldn't wear. Right. So his scent story is more towards this. My scent story is more sweet. I see Nika. Hi, Nika. Hey, good evening. What's your scent of the day? <laughs> oh my gosh. Myself and uh, Lestat, we are uh, scent twins. We decided we were um, whispers of enlightenment. That's what our scent of the day is. Yes. Okay. So now we're done with the guy stuff. Let's get into the girls. Technically, again, ain't no guy girl, right? So I am going to. Woo, I had to move. I put everything. Yeah, I mixed up between blankets because I was scared I was going to break something and the move over here from the bedroom, from the closet. I'm going to start off with one of everybody's favorite. And this is Passion de L'Amour. Yes, from the signature line. Guys, this is a very, very, very strong scent. It stays on you for hours. It is beautiful. It's one of the favorites from this line. A lot of people like Passion de L'Amour. Passion de Okay. A lot of people really, really, really like this fragrance. It is woody. It has oud in it. It has a fruity undertone to it as well. Right as you take it, literally, it is these fragrances. Oh my God. I Every single time you open up one of these cupcakes, you smell the fragrance. Okay. Balsamic, aromatic, warm, spicy, some patchouli in there, vanilla, and it is earthy. This is a heavy hitter. It doesn't seem like a heavy hitter when you're smelling the nozzle. But when you spray it on you, and if you overspray, I'm not saying that I did not overspray. I did. Okay? When you spray it on you, you yeah, you could hurt yourself. You could hurt other people around you too. <laughs> so this actually got a 3.95 out of 5, even though it's one of the most popular scents. And that's what I was talking to you about last week when I was telling you sometimes Depending upon the number of people that review something, if they say it's a four out of five or a three and a half out of five or whatever, it brings, of course, the average down, right? So, excuse me, this only has 20 votes on there. Only 20 people bothered to vote on it. So if 1,500 people voted on it, I think the number would be higher. Does that make sense? Okay. So the notes behind this is Mark Buxton. The notes are raspberry at the top. Nobody... Looking at this, you wouldn't think raspberry. Most people would look at the um, Chivado and think raspberry, right? But this one, the first note is raspberry at the top. It's got saffron in it, and it's a beautiful saffron. And then it's enveloped over that with bergamot. Now, the middle note is amorous and raspberry and lily of the valley. And lily of the valley is where that sharp, not sharp, but I think um, airy flower. That's what I would say. It's an airy flower to me. Ooh, this is nice. It's so nice. It's so good. It's not my favorite, but I still love it. Okay, the base notes are agarwood, which is an oud wood, patchouli, vanilla, and liatris. Guys, most of the signature scents has maybe two or three notes at the top, the middle, and the base notes. This one has four. Oh, this is good. This is really good. It was released in 2014. Again, let me bring up the gorgeousness of this bottle. It is a beautiful, beautiful green. All House of Siage bottles are like this. It starts off with the color of whatever the crystals are. So this is genuine Swarovski crystals. And then you have the crystals at the top, right? And then, of course, you see the crystals on the side. House of Siage inscription and House of Siage. Plated in 24 karat gold. On the inside, you have the name of the fragrance. All of them are like that. 
Ooh, this way. Okay. So you have, let me tilt it. There we go. There we go. I'm trying to get you to see. So the house of Diage is written right here. And then at the bottom is the name of the fragrance. So you'll know what fragrance it is. If you do not remember what cover goes over what, let's just say you were like layering fragrances. What you do is you just look at the bottle. So the bottle would have the color of the crystals and then it variates at the top. You can see that the fragrance in here is, it's a beautiful amber. Okay, like a yellow amber, not like a brown amber. And now you can see the green as it radiates up to the front. And that one is Fashion de L'Amour. It is a favorite by a lot of people. A lot of people say, I don't really like the rest of them. I just like this one. You know, and that's fine too. That is fine too. I am checking real quick to see if anyone, if I missed anyone coming in. I'm about to hit that button on houses. <laughs> Peer pressure. <laughs> yes. My link is in my description for I am an affiliate, okay? Um, that just means that I don't get, you know, I don't get a discount for you guys, not yet. But everything is on sale right now anyways. But it, it just basically means that I get a percentage of whatever sale that I you purchase, a very small percentage. And then what I do is I just invest it right back into the channel by buying more House of Siage or buying more stuff. So the next one is one of my favorites, and this is number two in my list. So Benevolence is number one, and this one is Emerald Rain. This is polarizing. I'm noticing in the fragrance community, a lot of people are talking about how they're not really feeling it. It feels, smells old to them. Not to me, right? And this, I really love this bottle. This one has ambery colored yellow crystals, actually. These are yellow colored Swarovski crystals. Looks like gold, really. And when you take, if you put this, if you put these bottles in a room that's dark, put your camera on, put your flash on, and you'll see a significant, they start twinkling on you. Yes, it's that good, okay? So it's really good, well-cut, faceted Swarovski crystals, and they're all hand-placed. Again, look at that on the side, right? And then the front is where the the name of the fragrance is at, and then House of Siage is inscripted on the side right here, and as well as in the back. So it doesn't really matter. It's a circle. Again, the darkness, color the cap, color the bottom of the, of the bottom of, of the uh, bottle. These are hand blown crystal bottles. Okay, these are not regular Spangler. Go to the dollar store or wherever bottles, Amazon bottles and stuff. This is really, and you could feel the evidence. The cap is extremely heavy as is the bottle. Now, I was on Cassandra and Bougie Fragrances Live when they unboxed their Mickey Mouse and we were talking about loose crystals and stuff like that. So, case in point, my diamonds, they fall out, okay? Jewelry, when you mishandle them, because these are literally like jewelry. Nobody really wants to be too delicate with stuff, but you have to be sometimes, okay? So if anything is plated in gold, it's going to scratch. Gold scratches. If you look at your rings, you'll see that that's what happens. You have to lay your gold in like palladium or something to that effect in order for it not to scratch as badly. Even platinum scratches a little bit, okay? So that's the thought process. I wasn't thinking about that, and I mentioned it in my live last night about holding myself accountable. So there is a green crystal right here that is missing. See that right there? And that could be anything from me moving around in the closet, putting the bottles on top of each other while I'm removing. It could be, or it could have just fallen off and I didn't notice it. That is going to happen. So when you're handling crystals, you just got to make sure that you're a little more delicate with the items that you have. Okay. That's just me. Y'all can do what you want, but after you spend all that money and that stuff, you don't want to, you know, you don't want it to fall apart. <laughs> okay. So just please keep that in mind. Hi to missus. Hi, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love you right back. <laughs> I love you right back, my dear. I sure do. Yes, Nika, you and me, we on Emerald Rain. Perfume Lover 10 got rid of hers. She said her hubby didn't like it. So my hubby likes it on me. So the next one, um, oopsie, it's my mouse. This one is Chevador. And guys, up close and personal. It is interesting because when this sits back somewhere, it looks like just, well, the light. But in the closet, when I go in, it literally just looks like really dark. It looks like this, like dark, right? But when you pick up the bottle and it's up to light, you see the nice bottom 
rosy red color and then all the crystals of course same thing 158 crystals hand place on the bottle so the crystals are also around the top i don't know if i mentioned that before crystals around the top crystals on a cap crystals on the edge of this right here okay as well as 24 oh this smells so good this smells good this was my first the first uh signature line fragrance Mm, yes. <laughs> this one is a dark, beautiful rose. And I want to say this, it's a strawberry scent. And I don't think I've smelled in any of the perfume a strawberry scent. Let's put her up here. Let's see. C-H-E-V. E A U X. I'm spelling it wrong, I think. Glasses, glasses, there you are. Yep, I'm trying to look cute. That ain't working so good with me squinting your eyes, right? How about I look at the name? How do you spell it here? Yeah, S E C H S H E V E A U X D or It's not popping up. There we go. All right. I was putting an accent where there needed to be none. So this is fruity, sweet, rose, floral, vanilla, and woody. Guys, this got a rating of four out of five. So it got a higher rating of the Passion de l'Amour that a lot of people like. But remember, only about 20 people talk about Passion de l'Amour. Okay. And it's gorgeous. As I said before, I really enjoy it. I love me some Emerald Rain. Did I mention what Emerald Rain is? I, don't, I sure didn't. Hold up. Let me back up. I forgot to uh, mention what Emerald Rain notes are. I am so sorry about that. Okay. So Emerald Rain, 4.21 out of 130 people. So I'm going to have to do a review on this one for Grantica. This was launched in 2012. So this is one of the older uh, older launches. Mark Buxton, I think he does all House of Siages fragrances. The difference between this one and the others, you see the inscription on this, the black cap with the gold inscription, gold Swarovski crystals. On the I love this bottle, guys. I really, really do. No mistake about it. I really do love the scent. I love this bottle. Top notes fruity, middle notes of cardamom, nutmeg. I love nutmeg and fragrances and coriander. The base notes, oh my gosh, benzoy and sandalwood. So two at the top, cardamom and nutmeg. Two, I'm sorry, middle notes, fruity notes at the top. The bottom, the middle notes are cardamom and nutmeg. And then the base is coriander, benzoin, and sandalwood. So Emerald Rain, if you like nutmeg and stuff like that, I think you would like it. Some people go, well, they're back and forth with it, but I enjoy it on my skin. I really do. So let's go back to this bad boy right here. And this is Shiva Do. The Emerald Rain Limited Edition has a cat on it with a green Swarovski crystal. Like, you know, it's gorgeous. But I just can't see myself paying for it. I just, it's the same juice. It's the same juice. So the limited edition fragrances with the beautiful caps and stuff, it's the exact same juice in the bottles. That's why I have a hard time buying those. I mean, I can't wear it out. I can't put it on my jacket. I can't do nothing with the cover, except it's a, it'll be a good paperweight, you know? So it's fruity, sweet, rose, floral, and vanilla, and some woodiness to it. The woodiness is normally in the back or in the bottom. So this, oh my gosh, it's still really pretty. This is a Beautiful raspberry. Okay, so that's two raspberries. That's two. Raspberry in this one as well. This is our off. This is wild strawberry and raspberry. So this is very fruity. It's more fruity than the Passion de l'Amour. It's got magnolia. Oh, yes. So raspberry, wild strawberry, and when you pull up the picture, it looks like dark, right? The, the flower, the leaves or whatever is dark. It's really pretty to me. So the middle notes are rose, Turkish rose, and Bulgarian rose, all roses. And then the base notes of vanilla and tonka bean. When you spray this on your skin, 
you will get a very it's it's sort of like um you will get some of that chocolatey vibe from the tonka bean that creaminess of a tonka bean but it's not very heavy to my nose i don't i don't get that as much i get mostly the fruit and the rose that's what i get when i smell it i don't know if you guys have this tell me what i'm spraying a little bit on my wrist mm. and when you, you see how you smell it it smells sort of heavy right on the nozzle of the bottle but when when you spray that atomizer which house is siage that's another thing i wanted to talk to you about with the men's fragrances particularly, when you spray in the atomizer, you have such wonderful control because when you spray it, you can spray it and go, could project very far, or you could just halfway spray it and it sort of blooms like right where you're at, okay? Bloom where you're planted. <laughs> so the same thing goes, oof, I'm going to be smelling like a whole sweet old, yep. So let me put the camera on so I can see, right? So, yep, that's a good way. See that? See that? The atomizer is soft and it disperses. When it comes out, if you smell all those roses and stuff that we were talking about earlier, Turkish rose, Bulgarian rose, that is what I smell once it hits my skin. On the nozzle, I smell fruits, a little bit of rose. On my skin, I smell rose, and then as it dies down, I get the fruits. But the fruits don't last long on my skin. Mostly, this is a rose fragrance for me. This is one of my rose fragrances. Did I see Marilyn? Hold up, hold up, hold up. And then, hi, hi, Nan. Mm. Oh, my goodness. See, that's okay, my dear. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see here. Someone said they have a love-hate relationship with something. I, I know I saw the word love. I am doing good one. I am doing great. Long time no talk. Yes. So yes, they are beautiful. They and they feel good to your hand. It just feels like luxury to me. It doesn't feel cheap. Like it doesn't as long as I polish it, because I could see like with this one right here, where my hands are greasy and stuff. And you know, it's kind of like China, right? If you leave China out and the elements of your house, the air and stuff, it gets that sticky residue on it. That's what's gonna happen with your perfumes, all of them. Okay, that's why I think that when I see people, I, I really admire when folks have like life, life cabinet with glass cases and stuff so you can see the beauty, but your stuff is closed up and it's protection from the dust. So let's see. Is that the Disney? No, this one is not the Disney, but I got the Disney too. This one is Emerald Rain. This is what this one is. This is a very spicy cardamom, nutmeggy, sweet Got a little bit of vanilla in it. This is a very sexy fragrance. I enjoy this. I wore this to work yesterday, I think. I think it was yesterday. My mind just be gone. I can't even remember if I ate breakfast this morning. That's why I got a big box of Cheez-Its right here. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's see here. When went, I got to redo my house here so far as rating it. Okay, yes, yes. Let's see here. That's your new one I see in the... Depending which one to get. Yes. So the new one is the Mickey Mouse, which is the House of Siage and Disney collaboration. That's the newest one. And that one, it, it smells completely different from this. Okay. They don't smell similar. So what I think about that one, I'll give you all my thoughts on us. I have to do a separate video. So today I'm just going to be doing notes on that one, but I have a separate video on that coming. I got a load of pepper from Enlightenment. Is it my chemistry? I know that all of that returns to cheap men's cologne. Okay, so that one, I think I don't get like black pepper, like um, the Lolita Lempica, but I do get a little bit of spiciness on the um, House of like the Whispers of Enlightenment. I can pull up the notes really quickly. So. It has like an aromatic, woody tone to it, but not peppery, right? But that's, I don't get like, um, like, like black pepper. I get pink pepper. That's what you're probably smelling. That's, that's what I get with that. And you know, you can layer them. If you have other fragrances, you can lay the House of Siage fragrances, layer them with something else. Holiday close second. Yes, I like holiday as well. I sure do. 
Whispers of Truth is number one for most people. It's got that nice tropical vibe to it, floral, but I don't have that one yet. But because it's, it's not on sale yet, like the sale that I want it on. <laughs> oh gosh. Hi, Courtney. I love Whispers of Truth. I don't ever think I smell anything prettier. It is a very pretty fragrance. It is. Oh! Yes, Tiara, love and hate. <laughs> the missus says she loves Tiara. Okay, let's see. Cassandra Ospiju is your favorite. That's fruity tropical vacation vibe. Nice, nice. Okay. Cannot wear high smelling scents, but I love the smell of roses. Right. So, Nan, this one, it smells fruity. You get the fruit. At the top note when you spray it, but when you spray it on your skin, it's all the rose. Rose, 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 rose all day. Rose all day. Not the wine, but you know what I mean. Okay. So let's see here. We next one is my absolute favorite, and this is benevolence. And guys, look at the amber in this. Look at that. I, I I did a little damage, not too bad, right? But this bad boy I love. This is a gold cover, and the Swarovski crystals are white. Again, y'all, I mean, y'all gonna see my fingerprints. Okay, so Swarovski crystal up here, Swarovski crystal all around, and then Swarovski crystals on the cover. And as you can see, gold top. Oops, sorry about that. Hold on. Here we go. So gold top, amber, goldy bottom. Okay, and this has a nice, it almost looks like um those Guerlain fragrances that I've been looking at with the amber colors and it almost so looks a little bit because it has a pinkish undertone like one of the roses not roses but bronze but one of those my favorite this smells like somebody said it smells it reminds them of like a cola type yeah i i agree oh my god yes i love this stuff i love it i love it i love it my ultimate favorite house of siage fragrance is this one whenever i pull this cap off I want to keep spraying. And that's one of the things with me I noticed. If I want to keep spraying a fragrance, even though if I could smell it <laughs> already, I still want to keep spraying. That's how I know I really love a fragrance. I love all of these, but this is my favorite. Benevolence is gorgeous. She is truly gorgeous. Let me tell you what the notes are real quick. So I also love the limited edition bottle for this. But when I look upon closer inspection, the dust is going to get all up in the crevices because it's a tree of life encrusted with all sorts of diamonds or, well, not diamonds, but, you know, swarovski crystals and stuff like that. And it's gorgeous. It is just gorgeous. But I can't pay $605 for that. I just can't. Even 50% off is too much, you know? If the juice was different, well, no, because I love the juice, right? So maybe if it was a bigger bottle. Yes. If they double the size in the bottle and kept the cap, like you make the bottle like the cupcake goes like this, you know, like one of those cupcakes, you put too much icing on it. But yeah, I'd buy it then. <laughs> I double the fragrance. So this is sweet vanilla white floral. This is why Pam loves it the most. Sweet vanilla white floral almond lavender powdery soft spicy anise floral and citrus. And I like all of those elements. Um, it starts off, this is one of the older ones founded in 2012. The top notes, oh, this is a different guy. So this is Francis Kamal. The other person that um, was the perfumer for the others, what's his name? It's not Francis. It wasn't Francis. It was another guy. Mark Buxton, that was his name. Mark Buxton is the others that I talked before. This one here is Francis. Uh, this got a... A decent rating. It got 417. I think it should have been like in the 450s. Because <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> it's my favorite. Yes. I like them all. Holiday Benevolence Whispers of Yes. Me too. Yes, the missus. It is. She is bougie. She smells rich. She does. She does indeed. Nika, yes, your first love too. Yes. We have similar scent stories. You're just a little bit more explorative. You you explore more than I do, Nika. You sure do. Ah, hi. Hi, wonderfully made. Last all day on you. Yes, it's gorgeous. The stat loves it too. Yes, I think that's up there as most popular. So it's a kind of what, 4.17 rating. Yes, yes, yes. Holiday is nice to have. 
I tell you what, I wore holiday for Christmas. That's that's what was my fragrance of the day for Christmas is holiday on, on until I saw that I got other per perfumes and I was just, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, she does. She does. Let me put her back up there so y'all can see my girl, my Guyanese friend. Mm -hmm. Come on, she's sexy. Mm -hmm. All my friends, all y'all sexy. <laughs> y'all be putting it out there. Oh, yeah, benevolence. Love, love, love her. Okay. So next is another one that's pretty. Oh my gosh, Pamela. These bottles, guys. These bottles are in desperate need of some polishing. This is Haute Bijou. She has, she's gorgeous. She's uh, Cassandra's favorite. She has pink Swarovski crystal on her. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now that my hand does not have a manicure and is raggedy looking to me right now holding this beautiful bottle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Excuse me. She's very tropical. First whiff, you know it's tropical. You, you can smell like, um, not pineapple, but it's just got like fruit. Um, I want to say like bergamot, which Cassandra loves, right? I don't know what's going on. I've been burping a lot lately. First, I'm sweating in my sleep. Now I'm burping. Uh oh So this is fruity, tropical, powdery, citrus, woody, sweet, vanilla, iris, floral, and white floral. This got a rating of 4.22, so it rates higher than benevolence. I like this one as well. This is a uh, number three, four, somewhere around there. So this is an oriental floral. Oriental Floral. It was launched in 2015. The top mango, that's what it is. Yep. Top notes a mango. It's got black currant in it and grapefruit. So those are the three top notes. The middle notes are iris and caro carunde. And then the base notes are heliotrope, vanilla, cedar, and amber. This, guys, is one of the top sellers for the House of Siage. It is gorgeous, not only in presentation, but it's gorgeous on the skin. It does last I think that most of the House of Siage fragrances that I have, in fact, if not all of them, they last on my skin. Not projecting. I will say they last on my skin more so of I can smell it on me. Other people, when they come around me, can smell it. And I don't even recognize that they're smelling it. So that is Oats Bijou. Let's see. Did we miss anyone? Oats Bijou is my first House of Siage and it's my favorite. It's the one I don't want to stop spraying. <laughs> yes. And that's how I know when I love something. I want to keep spraying all the time all the time hey hi don hi my dear hello hello yes oh my god yes i am so glad you joined that's why it never goes on sale oats bijou actually was on sale once for 50 percent off it was on sale once i posted a video on that and it lasted that day one of the when they had those daily sales and i was doing videos from my office I think that's one of the sales that it was 50% off. Now, the next one I have is another gold cover. And this one is Cherry Garden. This one has white Swarovski crystals on it. Of course, you see the white, the gold, the light gold. So let's see if it's similar. None of these golds, if you put them together, they, they're not similar. They're really not. Nope, they're not. They have all of them have a slight off to it. The only three that I think are similar goals, and because the Swarovski crystal actually changes the color of the the cap in itself, I think that's why it's Shivador, um, Shivador, Passion de l'Amour, and Benevolence. From first glance, it looks the same until you get up close on it. You see, there's just slight differentiation in the goal, just a slight differentiation in the goal. These two right here, the goals are also very different. This is more of a rose gold, and this one is. More of a yellow, creamy gold, if that makes any sense. Let's see here. <laughs> she said I've been broke that one time. Okay, I understand that feeling. Most of these on my wish list, but my list is getting so long. I know, I know. Minus two, minus two, Lisa. And I didn't see when you came in. Hi. <laughs> I didn't see you. I'm so sorry. So, yes, it. I, I totally understand i totally understand i love the house of siage as well so i went through the men's already don um i showed them the uh 
this one. And you can catch it in the replay in the if you don't mind. Um, the dignified, and then of course, I also have the right here, which is aeronauts, is gorgeous, right? The men's fragrance. You press that button, click, and it opens up, and then you press this. I just love that. You know, let me stop before I break this. I like playing with it, so let me stop. Okay. So this one here, Cherry Garden, it is also fruity. It is very nice. It is, a, in my opinion, Cherry Garden is sort of safe. Um, so the name says it all, right? The name says it all. But mm, the name says it all. So the, the, the name behind this one is Mark Buxton, okay? So the top note is bergamot, middle notes are cherry blossom and almond. And then the base is vanilla, white musk, and sandalwood. This, guys, to me, it's an easy fragrance to wear. This got a rating of 4.02 out of 171 votes. There's not a whole lot of votes for the House of Siage fragrances. And I think the reason that there's not a whole lot of votes for the House of Siage fragrances is because, remember, they're $360 a bottle. Okay? And it's only this year is the first time that House of Siage started having sales. Not this year, I'm sorry. 2020 having sales like they do which I am very much appreciative of, right? And I love vaults. I love vaults because you get stuff, other stuff with it. You may not want the other stuff, but you get it, right? And then you find that you actually feel bougie when you start putting on lipstick with a fancy lipstick holder. I'm just saying, you know. So <laughs> that's my, woo. Okay, so again, this is just like all the others. Interior says House of Siage right? And then the name of the fragrance is right there. The reason that the cloth comes with these is because with fingerprints, the oils from your hand, even the oils from the fragrance, because these are 25 to 30% fragrance oil. So when you're spraying it, if fragrance gets on the bottle and stuff like that, you need to be cleaning it back up. Um, I do wipe mine off. Thank you. Can you leave it on the table and I'll come get it. Okay. I'll put it on the, on the, put it on the stove so the dogs don't get to it. Okay. Thank you. Tell bye everybody bye. bye. Hi guys. Happy happy No, happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. Happy 2021. <laughs> Hope you have a great new year. <laughs> it's not a new year anymore. That's right. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Cassandra says she don't like cherries. That's why you don't have this fragrance. Okay, because yes, the cherry is very prominent. Uh she was my first one. After that, I was kind of hooked. <laughs> Yep, I know that feeling. My very first one was Shiver Door and Whispers of Guidance. Yes, those are the two first ones I had. Let's see here. Someone said something about Aeronauts. I think I saw that. Love Cherry Garden. Let's see here. Hold on, guys. I don't know why I keep trying to read. I know why. I want to look cute. Okay. Let's see here. Aeronauts is wonderful. Yes, it is. It's a good scent. It, it really is. It does lean a little bit more masculine, you know, but for me, it's a good scent. My favorite is really that number one and that number four for the on the men's side. What is covered up here under my San Francisco is a whole bunch of junk <laughs> for the most part, but items that the um, uh, boxes and stuff for our Christmas decorations and stuff. All my Star Wars, well, not mine, but Joseph and the baby. We have a whole bunch of Star Wars um, Christmas tree stuff. You know, the stuff you hang on your Christmas tree. Yeah. So all of that's there and then tools and stuff like that. So I covered it up because it was looking a little bit too too much. Let's see. Let's see here. Bougie, what vault has love in the air? Um, The vault that has love in the air, I want to say was the I did one of the videos on that. I can't remember. Hey, hey, hi, Tanya. <laughs> yep, he he would have wanted to stay. If I told him he all said hi, he would have wanted to stay. <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> it's a boy, Lestat. He's a boy, Nathan. <laughs> That's Nathan. My little six-year-old. Whispers of Enlightenment. Okay, so I want to say, oh, hi, Amina. That's okay, honey. We, we, we're we halfway there, kind of, sort of. So Love is in the Air. I Love is in the Air came with, um. it was a vault during Mother's Day, and I don't remember the name of the vault, but it came. That's what I, I got that um 
uh, for Mother's Day. That vault, I asked for that. That's what I've been doing last year. When they say what I want for this, what I want for that, that's what I ask for. I put some lotion on my hand. So um, that's what I get. Love, of, love is in the air with that one. And then Tiara also came in a vault. And I bought that one in a vault. And I think the rest of them, I think Oats Bijou, Oats Bijou and Benevolence, I want to say I paid for those with like 25% off or something like that. And then the rest of them came in vaults with the exception of um whispers of time yep everything else came in vaults yep and if i didn't have other perfumes to work through then i would to, to be honest with you i would be this whole big christmas still has been going on i would have been buying backups and stuff which is what i wanted to do but you know i had that situation with my account and whatnot so i had to be tight i had to lock it in right so let's, let's see here what did i miss what did D'Angelo say? I thought I would have received my discovery. So excited to smell these scents. Yeah, I thought you were going to get your stuff. Now, shipping is kind of crazy. I will say that because I ordered some stuff from, um, stuff is just taking forever to get here, to be honest with you, like a whole week, whereas it used to be like two or three days. So I think it's still going crazy, you know, the shipping is. So, Wonderfully made says there's a sale now. You can get Ospichu and Shiverdo for the price of one. You can get those two fragrances for the price of one. So $360 will get you two fragrances. So it's like $180. And if you want, if you don't have any house of siage, the mystery vault, not the vault, but the mystery thing that they were doing for Christmas, they still had that going on as of yesterday. I don't know if they have it going on today. Where you click on the you you order that, it's $149 on some, some change, and you get a fragrance so you get an additional thirty dollars off so that's to me that's those are good prices except you don't want to take the chance and get the same thing you know so although in the past what i've done yes what in the past what i've done is i've called the customer service i've emailed them and then I went on Instagram and I messaged them and I say, hey, I have this vault. This is what I got. Is there an opportunity for me to get something else, please? Um, so that I don't have two of the same fragrances. I understand it's a vault and I understand if you can't do it. But if you don't mind, would you please, if you could just put something else in there that's around the same stance story that would go with the vibe of the name of the vault. And they did that. So that worked for me. You know, this is when I first literally... I had bought something and stuff was damaged and I reached out to Abby Bliss White and I don't know if she had anything to do with it, but I reached out, she was doing a video on stuff. I said, I just got my first house of Siage, blah, blah, blah. My husband bought this and whatnot and it's damaged. This is whatever, whatever. And you know, they took care of it. And then after, I mean, I don't know, but I think house of Siage's customer service is what concierge customer service would be. If they forget something or if they make a mistake, they're extremely apologetic. I didn't get, I read online where people were talking about how they're real nasty and stuff. I haven't, I have had not that experience. I haven't had that experience. I have had other companies that I reached out to, um, to see if I can, um, work with them and stuff. And I got radio silence. <laughs> That can be considered rude. You know, you could just say, no, thank you. You know, not what we're looking for. You know, something to that effect. But I've had nothing but positive vibes from them. They respond to me. So let's see here. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You are so sweet, guys. Y'all just blowing up my head. Now I don't want to wear that You know, he's so cute. <laughs> Thank you so much, Amina. I really appreciate you. Oh my God. You guys are so sweet. I'm stunting. <laughs> no, I'm not. I ain't got I only got my wedding ring on. I don't have I don't have my stuff on, you know. Aw. Guys, you are so sweet. Yes, yes. Very amazing. Yes, for doing yes. Absolutely. If something's wrong, they will take care of it. I think they did. I think they did. Didn't they, Cassandra? They took care of you? <laughs> oh, no. They were nasty when I called. Ooh. Did you message them on Instagram? Because they, they, um, the giveaway that I had, the lady, um, the person that won, one of the winners, she didn't get her stuff. And so what it was, that it was a mix up and whatnot. And they took care of it. And then when she didn't, 
get the right stuff, I I I messaged them. I did not email. I'm did I email? No, I messaged them and then they emailed me. I didn't see the email, so they reached out to me on Instagram and told me to check my email. Mm -hmm. So yeah. <laughs> now you can hold on to your car payments. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. You guys are so sweet. So let's see. We've got two more, two, four, six, six more to go, and then we'll get into the kits. So this is Tiara, and this guy's beautiful. This was a scent that um Nicole Mathers, the owner of House of Siage, was talking about that she was thinking about Princess Diana when, you know, um, Look at that, guys. Look at that. You know, these things look like regular schmegular to me. On They look kind of sort of pretty in print, right? But when you see them up close, I think they're gorgeous. They are absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Again, the the um, crystals are going to match the base of the bottle. The fluid in this one is a slight, um, I would say like an orangey, not quite orangey, actually, more of a peachy amber in it is lighter than the benevolence. This fragrance is really nice. It's one of folks' favorites. I think this is one of, um, I don't know if you guys watch Shawnessy. She's also a YouTuber. Um, I think this is her favorite, is uh, Tiara. I think that's her favorite. All of us were like ena enabling each other to buy cupcakes. Dude, I don't know if y'all remember, like this spring, all of us was talking to each other about buying cupcakes. We was all going cupcake crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, when you think about the House of Siage, I really do like my fragrance. I love my fragrance. This is not for everyone, okay? Some people think it smells um, basic. And I'm using that word basic not in a negative term. It just smells like meh to them, right? So, and that's totally okay. But they prefer other fragrances or other houses and stuff. And that's absolutely totally okay as well. So this for me, this sparks joy. For me i love the way the bottles look i love the way the customer services and that kind of helps with the the situation i did a i did a video where i got some stuff that was damaged my cupcake come in like this you know and and, and i did it live where people not live live but i i was taping so people actually saw me opening and they saw it so and they saw some stuff was missing and stuff like that so it's just kind of you know it was all natural per se. So folks saw that. So, you know, and I paid for it. We paid for these. So these were none of these were, um, how do you say, um, promo? None of this was promo. So I'm, no. Okay. So this tiara is nice. I spray it on my body. I absolutely, I really do like it. Is it a love for me? I could do without it in terms of, um, I didn't have to buy it if I didn't get it in a set. And that's how I got this one. It's floral, vanilla, it's very pretty. <laughs> floral, vanilla, rose, powdery, musky, fresh citrus, amber, cinnamon is in here as well. And it is very sweet. Again, this is white gold encased with, um, not white gold, solid, but layered. And then this is Swarovski crystals all over, French cut crystal, hand, hand, hand blown, okay? Um, I've been to like a, when I was in Germany, I stayed, that's my first, yeah, my first assignment. And that's how I know about the blowing of the glass. I went to, you know, you went, they, they had the heat in the oven and they blow in the glass and stuff. And I went to like the crystal where they actually make German crystal and stuff like that. So you go like on weekend trips and stuff like that out there. And I really enjoyed those experiences. And that's how I learned a little bit about like what they do to make crystal and all that. So this one was launched early in 2011. Again, remember, this one is reminiscent of Nicole Mather said Lady Diana is who she was thinking about when she was, you know, the, the elegance that this fragrance, and it does, this is a good bridal fragrance, to be honest with you. So the top notes behind this one, Francis Cornell is the, the perfumer for this. The top notes is cinnamon and tangerine. Make sure I don't squirt my eye out. Guys, you saw that? Damn, atomize is the bomb.com. <laughs> so this is nice and light. It's not overpowering. It's not light as an aquatic. It's not light as in fresh, in my opinion. Fresh like um like citrusy. It has citrus in it, but it's not like screeching. It's not screeching. It's not like Dolce & Gabbana and stuff like that. 
It's not that type of a citrus. It's a more smooth citrus. Then the middle notes of peony, rose, cedar, base notes are vanilla, musk, and amber. Guys, to be quite honest with you, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful presentation, right? So let's just say you are the mother of the bride or something to that effect, and it's a summer wedding, and you only invite enough people so that you are six feet apart to the wedding. <laughs> But it's light and it's not overpowering. And I think that's one of the things that I like about this. It has that powderiness to it. It's a comforting scent, but it's not a heavy hitter for me. So it's a like, it's not a love, okay? And that's Tiara. Oh, yes, yes. Crystal Factory is definitely a must. Yes. I want to get Tiara. I think that's how you next buy. Okay. Let's see here. The bottles did a few. You have nine. <laughs> Yes, they're gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Right now I have a pedestal. They're sitting on a, it's a acrylic pedestal. You know, the kitchen stuff that you slide out like this so you can put your spices on. So I have one of those in my, in, on, on the bench, right? That's overcome by perfume. So I have one of those on that bench in the closet and then it has a gray rubbery mat so it doesn't move around. And I thought about like painting it gray, the silver or gold or something, but I decided not to do that. I just leave them sitting there so that it doesn't fall over, it doesn't tip over. And that's how I'm storing those. And then I have a crystal, an actual crystal, um, a candle holder and the candles are for bigger candles. And I put that and that's what I'm sitting my cupcakes at the front in. And then the rest of them are inside the little tier stuff because I don't have any space else to put them. When we move, I'll probably, we will be getting a closet that's big enough to house a, um, a, um, something that I could store my perfume in because if I put it in the bedroom, we have big, bigger windows in the bedroom and the heat and all of that kind of stuff. No. So that's why I moved. I moved everything out to the bathroom, everything out to the bedroom. I put all in the closet, all my fragrances in the closet. And with if you have motion sensor, which is a good investment for motion, motion sensor lighting, because if you have motion sensor lighting, you won't, if you won't forget your light. You know how we normally flip the lights on and we forget it in a room that also spoils your fragrances. Okay, let's see here. What did I miss? Crystal Factory. Yes, yes, yes. We talked about that. Let's see. You don't like Tiara. Oh, you don't like it, Tanya? Yeah, it's blah. It's not that you don't like it. It's just kind of okay. It's nice. It's, you know, it's not a must-have for me. The bottle is gorgeous, but it's not a must-have, right? Let's see here. Oh, yes. Um, Wendy, Pat's son is also in the army. Yes. And Nika's husband is retired from the army. <laughs> Nika's a whole bunch of army family up in here. Mm. Yep. Stupid note and throwing me off to the dustiness. Okay. Okay. Yes, it does have that powdery, dusty. Yes, it does have that. But it's not as bad. Um, like I say, it's a good, like a wedding fragrance because not everybody likes like that fruity or that heavy or that gourmand, you know, that type of stuff during a wedding. It's it's like an innocent fragrance. I mean, nobody innocent these days, but you, you get the gist, right? So it's sort of that light vibe when you see a wedding, a white dress and stuff like that. Although, you know, you see my wedding dress, that I ain't look innocent. <laughs> Okay, so now is a good time to take a break to remind that those of you, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please ensure that you subscribe. Also, after the video is over, if you don't mind, there is 40 of us in here. Please make sure you hit the like button. But after the video is over with, after the live is over with, please hit me up over there and just say a comment. Hi, great live. I enjoyed it. I'd like to see some more of this or I'd like to see this type of content. You know, just make a comment, please. It actually helps the YouTube algorithm. Okay. Now, the other thing I'm going to say is that if you are a YouTuber and I am not subscribed to you, um, well, you probably won't know if I'm subscribed to you or not, but just make sure you let me know that you are, if I'm not on your page on a regular, that means I don't know you're a YouTuber. Okay. So please ensure that you, um, hit me up down there and let me know. You can put it in the comments. I don't take offense to that. And just let me know that you're a YouTuber and I will go ahead and get over to your channel. If it is items that I cannot support, like a lot of cussing and stuff, like I can't wash a whole, a whole lot of that. I can only take it in small doses. Um, you know, 
then I, I may subscribe, but I probably won't be talking a whole bit. All right. So just keep that in mind so you don't get offended. All right. Um, so today's fragrance is a new to me. I bought this last night because I'm trying to keep the JCPenney here locally. We lost the Dillards. I said that last night. All we got is JCPenney in the mall. So we don't have a mall. We got a mop, a M8. That's all we got. Okay. They took out the Lady Foot Locker. They took out the Dillards. Um, half the stores. Ciao. Yes. So this is Rihanna's new lip. It's a cream, like a lip gloss, but it's a cream. So, and this color is called cookie jar, like literally cookie jar. You know, Rihanna, her names, right? And it's a nice brown. And that's what I was wearing earlier, but I eat lipsticks. I don't know if about anybody else, but lipsticks, I eat lip, the lipsticks. So, and it gives a nice natural look. So that's, that's a pretty color. It's sort of cinnamony. I think that this color would go over well with um, Fussy, which is a lip, um, her very first launch of lip products. I think the color Fussy is sort of an orangey color to it. And I think this would look good with that. Yep. Okay. So let's see here. New comments. What more is to say? Hold on. Hey! <laughs> How are you doing, love? What mall are you talking about, Pam? The local mall in here in Lawton. They um, closed the Dillard's uh, early 2020. Yep. So JCPenney is all that they have. And our JCPenney barely has the Sephora that's in there, barely has anything. The fragrance selection that used to be is not as much. So I go in there once I realize that if they don't have, and then they're planning to open, um, I think a Sephora where Dixon stuff is, which is like an open mall where Ulta is like for competition or whatever, which will kill the Sephora that's inside the mall. So I just kind of went over there and I bought a little bit of thing. I do the same thing when I was at Port Hood, um, the Mac store, when they first opened, man, you couldn't get nothing. It was like lines to get in this and yet about two months later, you know, that died down and then people hardly started buying anything. So I used to buy everything. Me and Pam, my girlfriend Pam, we'd be in Mac, buying up Mac to keep Mac in business <laughs> because they take it away. They used to have NARS at um, Fort uh, Hood. They had NARS inside the PX and nobody really, even the sales associate didn't really know much about NARS. I knew more about NARS and her, about the foundation and the powder and all that kind of stuff. So I'd just be hanging out there after work and customers come up and I'm trying to get them to buy NARS in uniform. <laughs> so then I went to, um, I went to advanced leaders course, right? Captain's career course. I went to the course and when I came back, it was like 10, 10 weeks long and I came back and the NARS were gone. And so I asked the lady, the manager, I'm like, what happened? We're all in Aza. And she said, when people don't buy it or they don't know anything about it, you know, it, they take it out of the store because it's not making any money. So it was all marked down and stuff. I was like, I wish I knew because I would have, y'all know how I shop. Okay. So we talked about that one. And this one, guys, the other silver cover one that I have is two of them, right? So I don't know if you can see the difference. The, the, the crystals actually make the covers look different. This one looks more blue because of the blue crystal. And this one looks, of course, just like silver. And this is holiday and it has all the colors, the Christmas colors, the red, the green, the yellow, the gold, um, some white, you know. Um, I'm looking to see if I lost any crystals off of this and I did not. I know I lost the crystal off my arm, the other one. Hold on. Probably so. <laughs> Probably so. I was in Fort Hood for a long time. I was in Fort Hood for a long time. We only have an Ulta now. Wow. Yeah. I love Ulta because of the point system. And I told the lady that yesterday, you know, Sephora downstairs, they're perfect for me. Okay. 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 What's it? So the Macy's in Colleen is closed. The Macy's was actually in Temple right near the hospital, the children's hospital. So I dropped Nate, uh, Christian off. They would get the port started for chemotherapy and stuff like that. And then I'd leave, I'd go over to Macy's or something like that. And that's when I found that they were shutting down the Macy's. Yes. So they, yes. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe it's because of all of these online stores that is just, you know, they're not making as much money, the overhead to keep the building, the air conditioning and the heat and the cleaning and all of that type of stuff. So it's just the malls are dying, man. I watched a I watched a documentary on that. Malls really are dying. You know, Aventura Mall in Miami, Florida. 
when we, not this Christmas, but in 2019 Christmas, it wasn't as packed as it normally is. You know, I mean, all the rich people still go there to shop, you know, but it just wasn't as packed as much, you know, it just wasn't. Even the Louis Vuitton store was like dead. And they had they created a flagship Louis Vuitton store in 2013. They opened up a flagship store there. So it's got one, two, three, I think four floors in Paris. The one that's um that we went to had five. But yeah, so it's it's a little sad because you know, we grew up on that stuff, right? Hanging out in the mall, working in the mall, in the stores and stuff, you know. So it's just kind of to when those things die away, I don't, I don't know how to say it other than it's almost like, you know, you're seeing things that we used to like, like cassette tapes and, you know, as things are just leaving. And the funny thing is that when they leave, they're not leaving a way to, to capture how to fix it. So like yesterday, our systems went down. So half of the afternoon, all of my work that I need to do, I couldn't do. Right. If you're having Teams meeting, MS Teams meeting, and you can't come up, you, you know, so everything we're on this technology thing, people don't even take, I take notes, but a lot of people don't take notes. They put it on their phones. I do what, put my phones, my iPhone, not my iPhone, my Samsung, on my iPad, on my computer, I have notes, on my laptop, I have notes, on my computer at work, I have notes, but I also write. Every meeting I go to, I got a notebook. And if I don't have a notebook, you know, I'm, I'm like, they're saying they're talking and I'm taking pictures and yeah. So it's just, yeah. So it's the age. It's just the age. Everything is going away. So yeah. So this one here is really bright and it has a Christmas vibe. That's all I can say about this fragrance, guys. It is a Christmas vibe in a bottle. It's almost like those really sweet evergreen thing that you buy to sort of stick in your Christmas tree. So that it gives it a Christmas smell when you walk in, but it also smells like food a little bit, like the candy, the minty, it's like a minty evergreen type candy. Not that you want to eat that, right? But that's the vibe I get with Holiday from um, House of Siage. Holiday. And I want to say Mancera also has a Holiday, but I've never smelled it. I've never smelled that one. Hi, Genevieve. <laughs> Hi, my dear. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Let's see, did I get everyone? They were already dying by the pandemic. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Restaurants are hurting to the point where, well, we're in Oklahoma. I'm going to just drop this bomb right here. Today, I'm looking at the news. Not the news on the TV, but the, I'm reading on MSN and on uh, Yahoo. And I want to say there was at least four, at least, I want to say the total of seven or eight of them, but at least four sworn in individuals were at that riot or whatever they call it, insurgents, whatever they want to call it, because they can make up a name for it. Can you even imagine? So, yeah, child. Like somebody said, you better get with technology. That's why I'm learning all of this stuff. You better get with technology or get left behind, you know? I'm just scared the computer's going to be, you know, choke me out of my sleep. <laughs> I don't sleep with my phone only this week. I think I slept with my phone only because I've been going to bed at three, four o'clock in the morning and in an hour and a half, I have to get up. Right. But other than that, my phone stays out in the hallway. My iPad stays out and all of that stuff, all of this stuff stays away from me. <laughs> Hi, Cece. <laughs> Send me a nice little taste of Yes, yes, I did. You you like it, right? Ultra release gorgeous by Michael Kors yet. I can't find it yet. I don't think I've seen that. The last perfume that I saw was released was Jimmy Choo's um his the latest fragrance from Jimmy Choo, Jimmy Choo and I think um what's her name some melon her, tamara melon or something like that is the nose i don't know who's the nose behind it because i did not buy it the only person i know that buy it was deb 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 uh deborah day yes yes i do too it's very uh it's beautiful guys it really is <laughs> it's beautiful it's a beautiful it's a different smelling fragrance minty with greens in it Let's pull up the notes real quick. So it's citrus, woody, fruity, 
rose. And then it's got aromatic and white flowers in between, and it's also earthy and sweet. Now, the top notes of this is blood orange, mandarin orange, and peach. I can smell a little bit of the peach. Yeah, I can smell the citrus. I really can now. Hold on. So I'll put it on paper, but one of the things that I'm noticing, especially when we did the Chanel the other night, and I told you that I wasn't digging Chanel Noir, and I sprayed it on my skin completely different from what I smelled on paper. Look at the atomizer. Dang, that's nice. Mm, yes. So when you spray it in the air, even in the air, that's another thing I like about House of Siage fragrances. A lot of the fragrances I have when I spray it, I get like the little heebie-jeebies in my nose, makes me sneeze. None of them do that for me. I, I like that. So this is mandarin, orange, peach. Middle notes are rose, jasmine. Yes. Okay. That's what I'm smelling. The vetiver, guys. The vetiver. Mm -hmm. The vetiver is that giving it that Christmas vibe. It's a nice combination. It's a nice fragrance. Would it be my first fragrance? No. Benevolence all the way. I would tell anybody, get benevolence first. Haute Bijou is nice as a first fragrance too, but benevolence is my number one. Oats with you, Benevolence, Emerald Rain, um, and uh, Passion de l'Amour. A lot of people tend to go for those as their first fragrances. Noé Moi is the only one I need now to complete my cupcake. I have it in the travel, which we're going to get into just now. But Noé Moi is the only one that I need to, to close that loop with all of these cupcakes right here. Yes, it's very fresh. Absolutely. Yes. Photorealistic. <laughs> yes. People ice skate. Yes. Yes. I, yes, I do. Even uh, if for those of you that have been to Germany um, or anywhere in Europe, right? During the Christmas, especially in Germany, it's like the market, the open markets, and you drink your gluey vine and you know, it's just the atmosphere is just different. It is just completely different. I went there when I was young. It's like my first assignment in my career. I absolutely loved it. I was in Augsburg, Germany. I traveled to Munich, to Frankfurt, Kaiserslautern, France, Italy. Um, and those are the bus trips, right? And then Czechoslovakia. And I went to Czechoslovakia 10 times. Yep. <laughs> 10 times. <laughs> Because it was only $30 to get on the bus and you come back with your crystal and stuff like that. So, you know, you get on the bus, it was midnight. We drove into um, Czechoslovakia, we hit the border, you know, and then you buy your crystals and whatnot and you come back and just pray to God that you have your passport on you so that don't take your crystal chandelier. No, that didn't happen to me. It happened to somebody else though. So guys, let's get into these. I only have four of these. I talked about this one last night. So this one is the first one. This one is Whispers of Innocence. I think this is the least liked by most people um, because it has that, it has a different vibe to it. It's a medicinal type scent to it. And I actually like that scent. I don't know why. It reminds me of Amouage, but it does not smell that oak moss that Amouage has. That the, the one that I have, the, I only have one Amouage and it's the myth myth woman and this reminds me of that fragrance but this is prettier okay so that's the whispers of innocence so yeah whispers of innocence and then the next one i have is whispers of time and this is my last purchase this guys i actually the whispers of innocence i got in a vault i got in a vault this one here i love as well it is nice fresh crispy it almost i want to say Oh, I snapped you down real good. Oh, there we go. This one is fresh and it's a little creamy. And I was expecting fresh like in just like Dolce & Gabbana Blue and those type of fresh, right? But it has a creamy underbite to it. So Whispers of Time, let me put the notes up real quick. Yeah, that Whispers of Truth is calling my name, but I got other fragrances I got to get first. This is citrus, white floral, warm, spicy, woody, fresh, spicy, and aromatic. It received a rating of 3.5, so it did not get a good rating 
at all. I forgot to mention that the holiday got a rating of 4.15, which is a good rating, right? And then the um the Diana, the Lady Diana one, which is a tiara, that's a 4.05. So those are popular fragrances to the nose. And I think people like those because they smell very familiar. You know, that what a perfume should smell like, what I would like in a perfume, if that makes any sense. So this one only has a rating of 3.5. And I don't think that, um, I think people complained about the, either it was the projection, excuse me, either the projection or the longevity, one of the two with this one, but it's light. It, the top notes are bergamot and, bergamot and Tunisian neroli. The middle notes are orange blossom and ginger. Spicy, right? And then the base notes are cedar and musk. Guys, that's that muskiness to it and the cedar. It gives it a smooth vibe, like a fireplace outside sitting. Envision that you're outside summer and you have one of those Walmart fireplaces or Lowe's fireplaces, the one that you could sit out. It looks like a big jar and it has a cover on top of it, like a mesh cover like that. And so instead of putting crystals, which I would do, I would put like the fire crystals you put in your fireplace. That's what I want. That kind of fancy fireplace, right? You put the stokes, the, the, the lumber in there and just imagine that ember. Don't, th don't think about the smoky smell. Just think about the experience of sitting there with a blanket around you because summer evening sometimes gets cold. That is what I get with this fragrance right here where you have the brightness of the the summer, what you anticipate is summer, you know, with the bergamot and the neroli and those type of freshness, you know, fresh scents for summer that everybody tends to wear. And then in the evening, that 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 sandalwoody type of, you know, woody type of, that's, that's that vibe, that creaminess. But it's not vanilla. It's actually, you know, wood. And that's what I get with this. Musky. Musky. Yeah, musky. That's the word. So, yeah, this is nice and tight. And the reason I'm putting these back in here is I mentioned to uh, them last night, you guys last night. Now, this line is a little more intricate. And uh, I think it, when it came out, it was a little more expensive than the signature line. These have more elements in it, more composition, mind you. But not only that, but the detail on the caps are a lot more delicate and a lot more details than the signature line. Because let me bring it up. See that? To, these are all different sizes of crystal. That's, that's what you're seeing right there. So you have medium size, tiny size. That's a really tiny crystal. You can't see it. There we go. Right there on the inside of the flower. It is gorgeous. Okay. And this again, gold, gold layered on top, the enamel on top, the gold, place the crystal. And then when you touch this, it's hand drawn on there. It's you could feel the, the the ridges. It's not like real smooth and soft, right? So you could feel the ridges of the, the artwork of the flowers and stuff like that on, on there. And each of these whispers in the garden, is some, <clears throat> there's a little bee. So when I first got this, I wasn't aware that there was a little bee on there. And then I started looking for it after, um, I think it was Alex from the House of Siage. He is the main, um, I would say the ambassador. And so my bee, I just found you. Where you went? Where you went? There she is, right there. There is my bee right there. There we go. Can you see it? And the bee is nestling. So it's different on every single cup. It's not, no two are the same. I don't think. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Let's see here. Let's see. Whispers of Enlightenment doesn't like me. Today was the first person basically I knew. Anyone know the best place to sell it? us? Oh, So Macari is a good place. Let's start. Go to the perfume corner. That's Dr. Rose's group. And um, ask to join it. And just tell her I sent you over there. And ask to join the group and whatnot. And, you know, of course you have to, I think you're already a member. I thought I saw you over there. But the perfume corner is a perfume group. And then there's Femme Fragheads. F-E-M-M-E frag heads right um yeah and you could post it there for sale and you could post it on poshmark too and of course anybody in here probably want to take it off of your hands let's see that's it My, yours is on the way okay 
what you get. Oh, wait a minute, D'Angelo. I got home oh, and there's a frag by package. Ooh, we want to know what you got. We want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Let's see here. I'm excited, D'Angelo. I want to see what, what you got. Because I thought they, they mail out on Mondays, right? So my package hopefully will be here. I thought I was going to have a package, but I didn't see it. Unless that package up front. No, that package said Amazon. Aw. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I missed that whole conversation. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll see you. If, if we're still here, come on back. But I forgot which ones. <laughs> yes, he's going to share with us. We want to know. Inquiring minds. Kept in the box. What's the fear price? Um, Go on the sites and see if they have it for sale. If they have it for sale, someone's not going to pay the full price. You paid, wait a minute, you paid full price for it? Or you paid half the price for it. If you only sprayed it once, most people would buy it for that price, you know, I think. <laughs> yeah. I love this fragrance. I think it's sweet and it's nice. And the other thing, too, is where you can list it is on Instagram. I know Perfume Lover 80 listed all her fragrances. So did um, Joss Jane. They listed all their stuff on their site and it sold. Mm, this is, I like it. It's good on my skin. Mm. I was there. Okay. All right. So then the last one that I have is my favorite. And this is Whispers of Guidance. And this has the gold, of course, just like it, all the others with the B and everything else with all the crystals encrusted, hand painted. Of course, the interior has the name of the fragrance as well as the name of the um, house on there. Okay, there we go. And smells gorgeous. Smells like lemon, not lemon, I'm sorry, watermelon. <laughs> Watermelony type of vibe. Um, I just get melon with this and it, it just speaks to me summer. That's what it speaks. Sweet, beautiful, wonderful summer. <laughs> Whispers of guidance that's what this is whispers of guidance this one is fruity powdery citrusy i love this fragrance iris and i know i had something else on my arms so it's making it smell even better fresh spicy musky aromatic i shared this with you guys last night because i made a dent in it and i'm enjoying the fact that i made a dent in it. that means i'm using it right so the top notes are bergamot and apricot. Middle notes are black currant and iris. And the base notes are patchouli and musk. And I love her. Let me, let me, let me show y'all. And serious gold. She's pretty. She's just pretty. They're all pretty. They're all gorgeous. I love them. I love them. I love them. I am a big house of Siash advocate. I love other fragrances as well. But I really do love looking at my cupcakes. They spark joy. <laughs> All right, so we're almost done, guys. Let me get this box over here. So what I have here is <clears throat> when you buy sets and vaults, a lot of times you will get a full-size fragrance, which is worth $360 when it's not on sale, right? Then you would either get something like this, which is a travel set, right, which will have a atomizer, and this design is called Arabesque, okay? So the atomizer, atomizer, the atomizers, I need to put the camera on so I can see. There we go. So the atomizers, I'm going to bring it up real nice and close. You see that? You can actually, it's raised. It's not flat in there. So when Dawn and I were talking about the beauty of this, and if you can see, look at, you see that? Swarovski crystals all the way around, right? And then one fragrance come in here and then you get three extras. And this, I believe, is Shivador, right? So I love this fragrance. I got this with, um, this came 
with this Shivador uh, set. And in addition to that, in my um, uh, I got a one of these, which I think it's in it's I thought it was in here, but it's not. I just have the extra one in here. But this is one of the trends, and it has the lace up. This is trend number 10. Okay. And so it's a little. It's a little, I'll show you the others, but it's just a little atomizer. It's just not as elaborate as this one. You see, this one has a big old green emerald jewel on there. It has the house of sillage. And when you touch it, it's, it's actually raised up and it's encrusted, not encrusted. It's just nice. The presentation is really, really nice. It doesn't feel cheap. It's weighty. Um, the only thing is I wish these, I really wish that these had sleeper bags and I'm contemplating um, like creating my own. And um, yeah, like with my own name on it or whatever the case is and calling that George because putting this in my purse, even amounts paper and stuff like that, it will get scratched up. This enamel is beautiful, but it's not like, it's not like um, jewelry where, well, even jewelry gets scratched up. And that's what I was talking about earlier. So this would make a great gift. And I think these are also on sale right now. I haven't been to the House of CR sites in, in a little bit. Because I'm trying not to buy anything that I'm supposed to buy. So this is the green one. And so you get three extra fragrances. And then you'll have one that's inside the atomizer. And this is worth $295. So that comes, that is in that vault that came that way. Okay. So the next one that I have is this one came with another vault that I purchased. And this was, I want to say Cote d'Azur, C-O-T-E. D apostrophe A Z U R. It either came with that one or the vault that came, you know, that whole Tahitian something. I I don't remember. This one has the fragrance Love is in the Air. Oh, I forgot to tell you. That's this one has. Oh yeah, I did tell you. Shivador, right? And all of these came with the like the, the paper and their their stuff to 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 you see the little white thingy here, right? And I think this is for this one. Yep, this is for this one. And this one is white and gold. And they have a white and silver as well. So if you're interested in collecting these things, if you're somebody that travels a lot and you like to carry your perfumes in these as opposed to carrying this, although this has 75 mils. And that's another reason that I didn't purchase the sets like these so much is because you get less perfume. And I figured I could buy a less expensive atomizer and have more perfume. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me catch up to the nose. Let me catch up to the nose. I am so sorry. I am so, so sorry. Let's see. You're in Oklahoma. What part of Oklahoma? Yes, glue vine. I love glue vine. Innocence is milk and honey smelling. Yes. Yes. With a little bit of herbiness to it. Like, that's why I get that medicine y type vibe. see what innocent smells like i need to go over these samples again okay the innocence i don't know jen you may not knowing your vibe you may not dig the innocence so much um but yeah go go through your samples and guys if you don't have if you have a fragrance in here you don't like try layering it on the house of cr size as well as there are some other videos that talk about layering and stuff like that and that's another one that i'm going to do i have to play around with my fragrances i like to mix fragrances together to create my own and then your body chemistry also changes right changes the fragrance so i'm going to be playing with mine and you know they paired some of them up to to give you the idea of what you what you really should be putting it with but i think that you your nose will tell you what you like. Notes or no notes. Let's see here. Whispers of time is your number two. Okay. Yes. COVID gone. It will be packed. Yeah. It doesn't like me. Today was the first spray. So basically, you can use anyone know the best place to sell. So, okay. We talked about that. Okay. I would say um, I recommend you post it on Instagram. Again. Post it on Instagram, post it on um, the Perfume Corner, also post it on, the, you know, the Female Fat Group, and also post it on Macari, and it will sell. 
it will sell. Okay, I think we caught up on the notes. Yes, it is the pink and rose gold travel case. I thought about getting the pink and I, I, I did, I really did. I really did. I was like, okay, let me collect them. And then I thought about it and I was like, why am I doing this? I could take that money and buy another bottle of fragrance. <laughs> so I had to stop myself. I really did. But best believe if they come out with new fragrances, I'll be on it like Sonic. Yes, I will. Let me put this here. I forgot to cover that up. So now most of you know that they came out. So we did these two. These are the trends. Every time you buy a set. So Love is, Love is in the Air came with a set that I can't remember what it came with. But when this box came, it was damaged like this, right? So I didn't want to give anybody away anything like that that's why i went with the monk Rolland fragrances um but this is i love this bottle though i think it's very cute this is trend number five yes it is trend number five right and this has a nice bamboo but sweet smell this is beautiful this is also beautiful this is one of my favorites and then I also have trend. The last trend that I have is trend number eight. And this is moon and star. No, seven. I'm sorry. Moon and stars. Uh, trend number eight. I think I put that in somebody's bag or something. Yeah. And look at that. Right. And this one is nice too. All of them come with extra uh, pumps. But I prefer... I prefer because these these are smooth so you still need to put a bag on top of this or wrap it in something that's not gonna scratch them up because the one that I have that's I now I keep in my purse it's it's not pretty looking it really isn't okay hold on one second here so mighty strong says she likes layering as well you layer she go food with Sofia Vergara oh nice the only sophia vergara that i have left is the um love the, the dark bottle um do i still have that yes i think i still have that um that's very sweet too sophia vergara makes good perfumes so the three molinars are ginger jing jingembre citrus noir and the basilic okay you got to tell us how you like it so I'm curious about ginger. I do too, Amina. I like ginger. I like ginger. What, Molinard? Good prices too. Decent prices, I think. I'm trying to, to wean myself off of buying three, four hundred dollar perfumes so I can get more for my buck. Okay, what other perfumes do you have a collection of? Um, I had Gucci, so the missus, I did Gucci and I got rid of almost all of them. I did, if you, if you go to my live, when you go to my channel and you click on my name, right? You click on my face or whatever, and you go to my channel and you go to my playlist, you go to lives and I was doing like sniffing sessions. And so what I did is I lumped everything in categories of brand, of, of the brand that they came in the houses. So House of Siage is my largest brand. Chanel is second. So I have Chanel as well. Nothing fancy Chanel, just the normal Chanel that everybody else has. I don't have any of the limited edition types of Chanel yet. Guerlain, I have Guerlain. I have Givenchy. I have Narciso Rodriguez. I have some Lancome. Um, and that is growing right now as we speak. Um, I also have um, Marc Jacobs, some Marc Jacobs. I have quite a bit of perfume. I have quite a bit of perfume and I have to redo my entire on Fragrantica. I'm also on Fragrantica as Pam Jordan. And I have to redo all of that because I pushed some of our, uh, the, out of my closet to people who I think that will love them better than I would because they were just sitting there and I may have worn them for once or twice. I got rid of all, I passed on almost all my Gucci's. And I think I have some new ones, like still in a box and stuff, but um, Marc Jacobs, um, Salvatore Fergamo, um, passed on almost all of those. Yeah. So yeah, I had a lot of designer fragrances and my nose still loves designer fragrances, but if I'm going to pay $70 and I started with Mansara just recently and I also have to see on the Terenzi. So if I'm paying $70, $80, I could put 
$30 more and get a really good um, niche fragrance, then I'm kind of, because I want to explore different things and I want to try things that other people, but I don't want to go too far left or too far right because then my audience, you guys won't really relate. You may like the stuff, but you know, if I'm dropping three, $400 and my, you know what I mean? And then the other thing too, is we started sharing. We do a lot of sharing. And so once I smell something, I know whether I like it or not. And then I wouldn't drop the money in. You know what I mean? I, I, I get scared about that. Spending, can you imagine spending $400 and you hate it? You know, so Gucci Guilty Poor Femme, absolutely, yes. So I don't have that one. Um, it didn't smell well on me, but I do have the Gucci Guilty, the, the one of the red bottle. It's red and black. I love that one. That's one of my favorites, but my very favorite is the Glamorous Magnolia from the um, Flora line. Yes. If you don't want it, guys, that's what I said for 2021. I am focused. I am laser focused. Would you believe I bought no Pat McGrath? This whole holiday season, I bought absolutely no Pat McGrath. The only new makeup I bought was this lip gloss because I was trying to support, like I said. But yeah, no eyeshadow. Didn't buy no new eyeshadow. I normally buy all the Christmas stuff. Didn't do none of that. I am sticking with fragrances and everything that comes in my collection, it has to be something that I'm going to wear that I have no issues picking up to wear. You know, and then I don't really like this. Uh, you know, I'm not doing that anymore. I am just not doing it anymore. You pay two seventy. Wow! So you didn't buy it when it was on a fifty percent. You buy it when it was on a twenty five percent off. Oh boy! Have you tried layering it with the other fragrance? Because I know you bought two. Yes, yes, it is. I love layering to that. And I'm wanting to sell the intense. Let's start. Try layering it with other fragrances. And you know what I just thought of? Maybe message them. It's worth a shot. Maybe message them, you know, and see if they would exchange it for something else. Okay. You guys can talk offline and that way she can, because she, she paid two seventy for it. Doggone it. So she bought it when we were buying them earlier in the year when um, the two seventy would be, uh, it was only 25% off, I think, either 20 or 25% before the, the big sales started happening. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. So that's those. And the last of it I have. So... All I wanted to show you was this is what the kits look like. This is the the bigger one is the 10. So all the signature scents. Whoopsie, upside down. Sorry about that. The number 10. All the signature scents are in here. Okay. And I think these were on sale too during Christmas. And these you will put in those little atomizers. And they're great travel sprays, right? And then Nathan, no. Go to dad. Go to dad. Go to that. You look beautiful. Oh, you look cute too, but go. You're acting like an elf on the shelf. Nathan, bye. Bye. And this is the Whispers of the Garden set. Okay? So, and those are all the scents we just went over, just in this form. And in this set, of course, it has the Whispers of um, Truth in it. Wait a minute. I think it does. Yes, it does. I got scared for a minute. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Let's see. I see Nika's. I see coffee. Cute. Oh, yeah. The, yes. He's something else, man. I'm telling you. He's got tricks, yes. <laughs> he, he loves the camera. My daughter was talking to me about getting him into modeling and stuff. And I'm like, when am I going to find time for that? You know, but I think that doing videos, his, vid his videos, um, oh my gosh, did I do this one? No, I didn't. I forgot one. Love is in the air. <laughs> this is a wedding scent. Yes, this is better to me. I'm sorry, guys, than this one. This one has white. 
white crystals. I'm sorry, it was sitting over there. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm sorry. I am out of control. I am so out of control. So I've got, how the box is just sitting there staring at me. And this, <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, my pink magnifying glass. <laughs> sweet too he is my sweetie pie bumpy starts and she's friends with Ivanka but we're cool now okay check this out this guy's look at that amber Woo! wedding scent yes better than I think Princess Diana scent which is tiara tiara is nice but love is in the air better okay so this one's got a little bit of cinnamon in it Yep, a little bit of nutmeg, I think, too. And it's definitely got some citrus in it. So, yes. Yes to the yes to the yes. I got to pull up the notes for this one because I cannot help it. Um, I don't know why. I just can't help it. Love is... And I think Cassandra, this is one of Cassandra's uh, favorites. So, love is in the air. It has citrus, fruity, sweet, musky, fresh, powdery, and woody. And I think, yes, I did smell that. So the plum, that's what it is. That's what it is. Not cinnamon, but plum. Plum, citruses, orange, green notes. Middle notes are rose, jasmine, and cedar. Base notes are white musk and patchouli. Good scent. And so we're almost there to opening up, dun, 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 the ears. But first we have to do WW84 which is my number two. It is tied. WW84 is tied. Um, second place. And it's not pulling up. Why aren't you pulling up? Of Sassiage Wonder Woman. Because nobody did it. Nobody did a... Wow, I'm surprised. Nobody did a video on it. Not a video, but a on Fragrantica. Nothing's pulling up for it. Let's do Siage, House of Siage. Wonder Woman. Experience. I am literally at least surprised. That it's not on for granted. Maybe I'm typing in the wrong thing. I was. <laughs> I misspelled it. Okay. So, guys, you guys, I have a video or two up on this. I absolutely love this bottle. I love this fragrance. I really do. Is it number one? No. But I love her very, 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 very much. Okay. She is second close. She like, you know, she good, good. This fragrance, a lot of people, I would say some people said they didn't smell it on them. I was one of those people that was like, wait a minute, where did you go? And then, like the jungle book, and then, what do you know? I'm sitting in my office. Housekeeper came in and she says, what are you wearing? And I'm like, wait a minute, I sprayed perfume on this morning. I'm talking about 12 hours ago. Like, you know, yes, this is powdery. It is sweet. It is vanilla. It is fruity. It is iris, musky almond citrus amber and balsamic it is gorgeous it when i spray this fragrance on i said this in my video it made me feel truly 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 beautiful it made me feel empowered it really did i was not it's kind of like i didn't have to have anything to say that i'm smelling it that day i just knew i smelled good i was up my you know my chest was up a little bit more i sucked my stomach in a little bit harder <laughs> Okay. Hey! Hey! Normally I only see you on Instagram. 
Instagram. Hi, Rigo. Let's see. Yes. Yes. I thought it might be a social media person, but it was her. Oh, are y'all talking about somebody else? Okay. So, guys, look at this bottle. Swarovski crystals at the top. Here we go. Swarovski crystals at the top. And, of course, on the side, one side is Wonder Woman, and the other side is the House of Siage, right? Here we go. Right? And look at that. It goes from pink to, like, a like an orangey color. So, all the colors you see up here, like, on the top up here, is what's how they try to create it here with the color of the liquid giving it that effect. Okay, let me do like this. Look at that. It's gorgeous. It smells bloody good. It smells good. I love this fragrance. I absolutely do. I didn't get mine until almost like I ordered like right as it dropped and it took a whole week for mine to get there. So people had, of course, videos up before I did and stuff like that. So I was feeling some sort of way about that because I really wanted to be one of the first ones. But then when it came in, like, you know, the whole weekend it didn't come in. It came in on the Monday and I did like a little edited video. I tried to do a little fancy thing with the I tried. Um, and it got me all excited. As I was filming, I was getting excited. As I was editing, I was excited. You know, I was excited. And I didn't smell it, smell it. You know, I didn't smell it. I just did this and I opened it and I smelled it, but I didn't spray it on skin. So what y'all saw was actually the original time and my original video was me like smelling it for the first time. So I was really, really loving this thing. So mm, top notes, bergamot, raspberry. So that's one, there's three fragrances now that's got raspberry in it. All right, Davana and pink pepper. I don't know what Davana is. If somebody could tell me what that is, that would be great. Middle notes are orris, almond, and tulu balsam. The base notes are vanilla absolute and musk. And as we all know, this was released last year in 2020 in collaboration with Warner Brothers. So Devana, as I'm looking here, it seems to be some sort of a leaf. Stop squinting. Squinting gives you wrinkles. A plant, actually. It looks like a plant, like a floor, like a, a herb. That's what Devana is. It's an herb or a fougé. Did I say that right, Fuji? Right? That's what Devana is. And so we're learning together, guys. Yes. And then Tulu Balsam. Tulu Balsam is like an animalic, ambery type smell. So that's where we're getting that smooth, um, not whiskey-like, but smooth as in sexy and seductive. Because I think amber does that. I think amber is supposed to be like a underrated, sexy um, uh, uh, a gem, in my opinion. Because when I see amber jewelry, it's, to me, it looks very mysterious, you know? So, yes, I'm excited. I'm smelling her and I'm excited. Vanilla Absolute, yes. And then the Auris. The Auris is, we always talk about these things, but we never really talk about what they are. And so the Auris is actually a root and it's grouped into flowers Mm, like irises and I'm just looking off of for granted because so it's like the flowers like it's it's in the iris family so that's where you get in that um sweet and sharp a little bit but guys this is blended perfection um again there are some people who didn't like it because they wanted beast mode they wanted it to push out there and not all fragrances do that and this was certainly not one of them Let's see do a closet and you can see everything is like a store. <laughs> now Rose got a store, you know. Uh I you know. And what's her name? Um AI the Great, they got stores. I, I just got a tiny witty six by six by seven closet, a tiny closet. I thought I was it. <laughs> Thanks guys, you guys are making me feel good. It's a little junky right now, but uh yeah. But the next thing I have, guys, is this. this. I love this bottle. I do. Look at that. Look at that. Let me show y'all. This is no two bottles look alike. This is hand blown art, you know. It's painted, hand, hand painted. I'm sorry, hand painted. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. 
And this has like a antique look, you know, Wonder Woman old school, right? So antique. By the way, I watched the movie and I didn't think it was that bad. I liked it. Not as good as the first, but I still liked it. Um, so if this is hand painted and stuff like that, guys, this is really, really pretty. And I, I think with the scent, if you think about the character of the main character of the movie or what wonder, even if you think about Wonder Woman, like Linda Carter, Wonder Woman, Linda Carter, Wonder Woman wasn't out there all flashy and all of that kind of stuff. She was not like that. So the fragrance actually embodies what the Wonder Woman character in the film is, as well as the women. If you think about the women in our lives that are strong, they're not gaudy, they ain't out there, they ain't beast mode, they're not like that at all. They are undercover, the boss of everything else. And until you, you by the time you turn around, wait a minute, um, they get you to do what they want you to do, right? They're boss, boss. That's how boss moves, right? You do what you, they, there's a saying, uh, what is it? The leadership philosophy is um, to get people to do, leadership is to get, the definition of leadership is to get folks to do what you need them to do, right? Even when you're in your absence. And that's kind of what I think about when with this fragrance. And that's why I preference in my video, my first video, um, when I edit this, I probably link it in there. I had like about, I think I used like eight or 10 generals, female generals. Okay. Um, because there was a time when that wasn't the case. Y'all know that, right? And a lot of them were minorities, meaning uh, black or Hispanic or minority being a woman. Or, you know what I'm saying? So point blank period. So that's how I feel. I'm going to get off that soapbox real quick. Okay. So da, 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 da. I want to say puppy power. And this, my dears, is the Mickey Mouse box. And she smells great when you open her up she's the box smells good so i thought that i was having a problem when i opened it up so they have this foam right here and it has a slice it slides for the air to go so when i open this up and you see that wetness right there right so yeah And then you have the, it's sitting like that. And then you have the opening like this. And that is the House of Siage Mickey Mouse collection. The cards are in here. And of course, this right here is nice and velvety. All the House of Siage boxes have that. Tofu. I didn't know that until one of my videos I was playing with it. And I was like, oh, I didn't know you were velvety. So it has like a velvety effect. Um... So this right here is gorgeous, right? Take her out. And so this was gifted to me by my daughter and my husband. And how you open this one here for me, I just do it like twist like that. Or I stick my nail up underneath there and I already broke a nail. So let's talk about the cap. It's gold overlay, okay? and right here is Disney. It does not have a number, which is something that Cassandra and Dawn from Bougie Fragrances talked about. The cover, the airs, down to the airs, is also encrusted with Swarovski crystals, okay? And if I am not mistaken, it is the same 158 that crystals, or is it 128? Is that 120 or 158? I think it's 158. And then if you, you know, all the way around, right? So the cap is weighty. The airs are not flimsy. This is a beautiful piece of art. And y'all know I wasn't going to get this. I just kind of whimsically asked for it, okay? The bottle in itself, feels a little lighter than this, and it definitely feels lighter than these. Just a little lighter. Not much lighter, but I could tell the difference in the weight. Okay? So what I did is I checked the fragrance by turning it on its side to see if I see any was missing. Because when I looked at it, remember I opened it up and it looked wet, right? But this isn't loose. The nozzle right here is not loose. Hold on, I'm missing. I'm, miss I'm so sorry, guys. Linda Carter is in the movie. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. For the, 
I didn't want to say anything because I didn't know if everybody watched it yet. Hey, Kia, I miss you coming in, my love. I miss you coming in. Yes, she is in the movie. And, uh, oh, you said hi to everybody. And I tell you, she looked stunning. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Kia, I am wearing, I'm wearing the thing from last night, the Fenty, um, what's it called again? Cookie jar. Cookie jar. Yeah. I'm wearing that on my lips. It's nice too. So, see that? It's creamy. And it's not like, um, you guys, you know, when you put on lipstick and stuff, how it has that like clamp, it clamp, your, your lip is clamp and then it does that like, like webbing thing when this, these don't do that. So I actually really like these. So I might get some different colors and stuff like that. So yeah. Fenty cream. Yes. Yes. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Let's see here. Show us what to correct. Okay. So guys, again, the bottle red representation of Disney right? Of Mickey and Mickey's love, Mickey and Minnie's love. I know that um, Nicole Mather talked a lot about it. I went on the lives. A lot of us were on the lives with it. Dawn was on there. Cassandra was on there. A lot of us were on the lives when they went live with the release of this fragrance. And so it's fun being on the live on Instagram and stuff like that. But my concern was that, was the fragrance going to smell just like this? or anything else I had in my collection. I was really, really concerned about that. And I did not want to spend, pay full price for something. There were some other reasons too, but you know, again, I was back and forth with this. Now, She's pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, she's pretty. She's pretty. She's pretty. She's very pretty. <laughs> Is she four hundred dollars worth? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think she's four hundred worth four hundred dollars. Um, and here is why. The first day I put it on. I also put on uh, my other two fragrances that I had gotten uh, for Christmas, uh, for New Year's actually, because we're doing gifts for New Year's. I don't know if y'all remember, I said I just started a new thing. And yes, it has a little cocoa note in it. Yes, there you go. Um. <laughs> She's such an instigator. She's like, spill it. Yes, you are. Yes. Did you buy it? Did you buy it, Marissa? Or did you get a sample? <laughs> Am I glad to have it in my collection? Absolutely. 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 The reason that I think that she may not be worth the $400 to me right, is because I was expecting to, it last a lot longer on my skin. I got average hours. I'm talking about about five hours, which is normally what people wear fragrances for. They normally don't wear fragrance. You're going out somewhere or whatever. You're not wearing it for more than four to five hours. She is intensely beautiful, but she does, her longevity is not there. Okay, and I think this is mini, right? This is supposed to be mini. 
right? Gorgeous, yes. Packaging, yes. Absolutely stunning. But for this price, when you command this type of pricing, I think that it's imperative that, you know, you give me Tiziana Terenzi type of longevity, Mancera type of longevity, even uh, Maison Lancôme type of longevity, right? Although some of Maison Lancôme don't last that long. That's what I heard anyways. She's Malachite Rouge. Yes. Malachite. No. 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 Okay. What do you think, Marilyn? How long does it last on your skin? That's the only thing. I wish it had lasted. Beautiful? Yes. Want me to spray on more? Yes. I do get that vibe when I'm smelling her. That's the kind of pretty she is. So don't get me wrong. I love the scent. I absolutely 100% love the scent. The, the lasting power. I want it to last. If I put it on in the morning, I want to smell it in the afternoon. This does that. The Emerald Rain does that on my skin. The Benevolence does that on my skin. So I was just wanting that. Now, I can bet you a bottom dollar. This is what I'm saying right now. I'll put this fragrance on go to work and somebody's going to compliment me about eight hours or nine hours after I have it on. It fail, never fails. It happens all the time. It's just, I'm not smelling it. And that's the only thing. After about five hours, I wasn't smelling it. I was actually smelling the Amber Eccentris, Eccentrico and the um, Rouge Malachite. I was smelling those more than this was. But then again, those fragrances are composed, the composition of those fragrances are different. So I remember telling you guys, I have to hold myself accountable to put things in perspective, right? This right here, handmade, everything that's going through it, got it. 100% got it. I just wanted a little bit more. I just wanted a little bit more from her. That's what I wanted. No, no, I'm bouncing to it. So please describe one more time. Okay. So hold on. Let me pull it up real quick for you. So Wonder Woman 84. Mm, Wonder Woman 84. The top note. Bergamot. So think citrus. Bergamot and raspberry. Citrus and fruity. And then it's a little spicy right off the top, right? But it's not spicy like um carolina herrera very sexy has that nice pink pepper in it and it's kind of a little thick if you put too much on it it's gonna claw you out okay but this isn't like that and then it's got divana in it and the raspberry so the top notes of this you can automatically smell when you spray it when you put it on here but what's really pretty about this fragrance is when you spray it on oh my gosh when you spray it and you walk into you don't even have to walk into it because i don't know if you all saw my video I was going crazy. I was going ham. Okay. I was going ham. It is so, so pretty. That's what, the, that's what I'm scared of. Right. Cause this is very pretty. This makes me feel, you know, I've got the orris root, the almond and the tulip balsam in here. I love almond. I get it. Vanilla absolute and musk. It is just rounding it off for me with this fragrance. I absolutely adore this fragrance for that. I think that this smells differently from the wonder woman in that, it is prettier, but it dies down a lot faster. It really does. I could smell mostly citrus, like a sweet, pretty citrus. That's the only way I could think about saying that with, with this one, a pretty citrus. So let's go over the notes real quick. So the top notes of this and this are the same. No, it's not the same. Bergamot, mandarin orange, and cardamom. I think cardamom gives you that milky texture. That's where I'm getting that from. It also has coconut, so it's a little tropical. Does not have that in the Wonder Woman. Cacao and orange blossom, again, tropical. Like, think Tahitian. Like, you go in, like, to Hawaii or to Bali, you know, those places, the Philippines and stuff like that. That's what I'm getting the vibe with, with this. You're vacationing in those areas where it's exotic and oriental sort of, but more fruity oriental. And then it has amber in the bottom. It's got tonka bean again to amp up that cocoa, to amp up 
the, the chocolatey goodness of it. And of course, vanilla to smooth it out and sandalwood to calm it down. But, well, to sex it up, that's what I think. Because sandalwood is calm and sexy, in my opinion. But I like it. No, I love it. I do love the fragrance. Let me not lie. I do love the fragrance. I don't like the longevity on my skin when I tested it the first day I got it. That's first impression. I have to come back with a full review on this after I've worn it. Going to Y'all know I like to do the gym with my makeup. I do the gym with my perfume too. So when I wear my perfumes and stuff and I'm testing for real longevity, I actually go work out or I'm doing something all day long that it's going to get me my body to warm up a little bit and to see if the fragrance is going to project out after the fact. I don't know if everybody does that. That's what I do. I don't know. Is that weird? <laughs> that might be weird, huh? <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Malachite Rouge. Yeah. I really like Malachite Rouge. Okay. Good night, Wendy. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining. We're actually closing it out, too. We're actually closing it out as well. So we are at 11.02. So we started at 8.30. So we're at two and a half hours, which is average for us. But um, I really wanted, this is my entire collection. And I tell you, I am so wonderfully blessed to have you guys come out and hang out with me tonight. And to see this fragrance, these fragrances that are my very favorite house, right? Right now, House of Siage. After going through all my fragrances, I will say the House of Siash is my favorite house for the fragrances that I have. I think I am going to go ahead and get Noé Moi. I just want someone who has it to give me some feedback first. When I looked at the notes, it got great reviews. People said that they liked it. I didn't hear a negative, like really horrible, this is a horrible fragrance. Go back to the drawing board, House of Siage. Or, I didn't get that. Moi. Way N O U E. There we go. No way moi. Associage. Um, it's got a rating of 3.80, so it's not too bad. Right? So the Mickey Mouse got a higher rating. So if this got a high rating like this, it says 4.5, but it's only two people that rated it. So my concern would be whether or not that's this one here, the Mickey Mouse. Yeah, the House of Siage Times Disney. If only two people rated it. Are, are, are those two people, it doesn't really matter. It's kind of like Rihanna, right? I buy everything Rihanna and it's great, you know, or are they really honestly giving their reviews or their rating? Um, did they wear it all day long? And again, you know, all fragrances do not have to be beast mode, right? But I have to be mindful with my spending. Was I expecting this to smell the same as others? Yes. Does it smell the same as others in the collection? I do not think so. It's close to this one in terms of what it's given me, the warmth and, you know, feeling really nice and pretty and stuff like that. But in all honesty, they could have released this as a new, in my opinion, they could have released this as a new scent for the House of Siage, right? A new cupcake right? That's what they could have done um, and have it sold for 360 But it really wouldn't matter to me. You know, I just think it's it's a mixture of Haute Spijou, Love is in the Air, and perhaps maybe Tiara. That's in my head right off the top as I'm looking at these. Those are the three fragrances. And sprinkling a little bit of Emerald Rain, just a little tad or, yeah, a little bit, just a little bit underneath. And I'm thinking that's what I'm getting with it, that vibe, all of those together, perhaps. Let's see. I haven't used it yet. I'm trying everything else out. I want it to be a surprise. Yeah. I absolutely think that you will like it, knowing your scent story from what you've been telling me that you like, Marilyn, and what I've seen that you like. I really think um, that you will like it. Okay? Um, so, guys, let's see here. We've done all the House of Siage. Um, Rose is going to be on tomorrow. So I'm going to just put a plug in for her. Please check her channel out tomorrow. She's going to be doing, um, I think fragrances that Joanne inspired her to purchase or forced her to purchase. <laughs> All right. So that would be it for tonight. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you. I can't tell you how much I appreciate the love that you guys have been showing me sitting through all of these. You know, we went through a lot of fragrances and I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Please, please, please. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, 
please subscribe to the channel and please share. If you think you know somebody that might be interested in the stuff that I do, um, fragrance content, beauty related, please share with that individual and encourage them to subscribe to the channel as well. I would really greatly appreciate that. I'm trying to put more content out for you guys, okay? And um, also make sure you like the video, this uh, live, and comment down in the comment section. If you have any questions I have not answered for you tonight, don't forget, please let me know what it is. I have no problems, you know, trying to find things out for you. I'll do my best. My, you know, sometimes my best may not be good enough, but I'll try my best, okay? All right, so guys, with that being said, um, towards the end of the video, you guys know the pop-up cards, the cue cards are going to come up, end cards or whatever they call them. Please ensure you click on one of those. If you haven't watched, you know, my playlist or anything like that, lots of content there for you. I have over 100 and, I want to say maybe 130 maybe 150 videos, between 130, and 150 videos. Some of it, not that great. I would be honest. <laughs> but with that being said, guys, have a good evening. Thank you again. And I love you to the moon and in the back. Take care. take care of yourself, take care of each other and stay safe. Okay. I'll talk to you later. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.